Good evening. Hello. Welcome to a Wednesday edition. And we're going to shut the door to keep the cats out. Yeah, it's probably a good idea for now. Welcome to the Wednesday edition of Zero Page Homebrew, where we go back and revisit games that we played on the Friday edition. <laughs> and this week, we're going to go back and take a look at Draconian. And I don't think you've played this yet. I have yet. not played this yet, so I'm, I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, so this is, um, this is made by uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Um, of Spiceware. And this was released uh, through Atari Age. And it is a port for the 2600 of Bosconian, the arcade game. Mm -hmm. And I did play this game back in the day. Um, and I was always, I always seemed like it was really, 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 really hard in the arcade. And maybe it was. Um, and I died almost immediately and I didn't understand what I was supposed to do. Mm. Um, but I do now. <laughs> and what we're going to try and do tonight is play through all the levels. Now, not necessarily play every iteration of the levels because there is um there's different stages there's different quadrants okay. there's the alpha beta gamma delta and eps epsilon mm -hmm. um, quadrants and in each of those quadrants is 256 levels one through 256 mm -hmm. um but there are actually only certain individual levels within there like um each one is planned out they're not random okay so there's um the 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 bases that you need to destroy on each level and um so what let me bring it up the notes now it was released by two different companies uh, midway and namco and there's 17 levels uh, from the Midway version and 22 levels from the Namco. Mm. So Midway is on the Alpha and Namco is on the Beta. So we're going to play through all those. Okay. And then on the Gamma, these were levels made for specifically this game for Draconian that weren't in the arcade. And then in the Delta, let's see, yeah, the Delta is the prize winning, like people submitted it from Atari Age, the Atari Age forums, mm. and then it was voted on, and then it went into the game, and I believe there's 16 levels, and what Daryl says is that, at least for the Alpha and Beta, uh, at the end, it repeats the last six levels uh, of of that level over and over again till two hundred and fifty six. Oh, I see. So there's you're if you keep playing, you just you're keep you're playing You'll the same just, levels over and over. Again. Yeah, reiterate okay. over and over again the last six levels. Mm. So what I think we should do is play through the seventeen levels of Alpha, mm -hmm. and then the repeat of the six mm -hmm. at the harder version because it gets harder and harder. And then the 22 for the beta and the repeat of the last six. Okay. And I don't know how many, I tried to look for it, how many levels there are in the gamma. Mm. I'm going to guess 16, but we need to pay attention while we're playing it to look for repeats. Mm. And so I'm guessing it would repeat the last six just like the other ones. And there is 16 for the fourth, um, for the fourth quadrant. Okay. Um, so it'll repeat the last 16. And then the Epsilon one, which is the fifth quadrant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Yawning. Nope. nope. I just had dinner. This happens <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right after I eat. Fall so asleep. Nothing to do with the game. <laughs> the Epsilon one we won't be playing because it is just a random assortment from the first okay. four quadrants. Because okay, it, it'll just be a repeat. Yeah. So it's just for people mm -hmm. who want to play random levels mm -hmm. at whatever. Um... And we're going to, I, let me just switch over now to the game. There we go. Now you can see on here, there's quadrant, alpha, beta, uh, gamma, gamma delta. delta, epsilon. 
and then you can select sectors up to 16 and then you have to earn it after that gotcha um, then there's levels going from kids easy normal and hard okay hard is really hard okay <laughs> so we're just gonna play it on normal fair enough and tv type ntsc pal and ccam obviously we're gonna play it on ntsc because uh, that's where we live and is is bosta is in the chat and he did the sound effects, music, and speech. Oh, exciting. For Draconian. Nice. And Draco the speech in Draconian is amazing. Yeah. I believe it can claim the title of the first, correct me if I'm wrong, I suppose, uh, the first speech while playing a game in an mm -hmm. Atari 2600 game. Cool. And I believe there's, reading through the forum, there was speech in two other games, but I don't know if it was during because they usually blank out the screen because it uses up so much resources. Um, yeah, great sound effects, music, and of course the speech. So awesome job, I suppose, stuff. <laughs> and also, Arena Foot has joined us. Hello, welcome Hello. back. He was away last week, uh, <laughs> so he wasn't in the, in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> hand it to you. Okay, you're going to have to give me a brief rundown of yes. how your ship, you play. Your ship, you're always in the middle of the screen. Yeah. And you need to destroy the bases. Okay. And the bases are in the bottom right in the small little radar. See, there's three of them on this level. You pretty much shoot everything. Absolutely everything is coming to kill you. Good to know. Good and you to can know. hold the fire button down. You don't have to so press it. So I'm going it. down? Yeah. Uh, oh. Nope. You're going up. I'm going so up. So you're, uh, you're the flashing one in the radar. See the flashing white dot? Oh, I didn't even see there was a radar there. Yeah. <laughs> So you have to shoot. There you go. That's how you destroy a base. <laughs> you shoot through the gotcha. opening. Okay. That's the easy way to destroy the base. The harder way, I find, is you have to shoot each of the pods around the edge of the base. So there's... I suppose... Oh, yeah. And Sean Faze has joined us. Hello, Sean Faze. Journey and Mission Impossible. Uh... Mission Impossible and Journey? Journey had voice? Impossible Mission had voice. <laughs> uh, that's a different game on a different platform. <laughs> Impossible Mission was never made for Atari 2600. Uh, uh, he says I'm correct. I'm confused. Shoot everything. No, no, no. But oh, like, the radar? I'm trying to find the green. Yeah, so you go up to the right and you'll get the one of the greens. Oh, there it and is. then shoot up through that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was fair. <laughs> uh, there is Berserk VE voice enhanced hack uh, in the AA store that talks between the rooms. Yes, there is that. Um, does that use the voice, um, the Atari Vox, the Berserk VE? Or does it just use the cartridge? I'll almost just head, st oh, oh. head straight down. Oh, yeah, C64. Impossible mission. Yeah, very good speech uh, voice in that. You can take another go at it. Yeah, same yeah. quadrant, same. Yeah, yeah. Same sector, same quadrant. So the voices, different voices in this game are blast off, alert, alert, battle stations, spy ship sighted, and condition red. When they say condition red, they send tons of ships at you. The entire attack fleet at you. So you never want to get to that point. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. when you hit the mines, yeah. they explode for a bit. They don't immediately just dis be destroyed. So that they will they will stay on the screen for just a bit. So if you're heading towards them, you're in trouble. And those purple ships, they They're hone annoying. right in on you. The blue ones don't. However, because you shoot from behind, the it, moment they end up behind you, you kill them. Yes. Which is nice. Which is very nice. But they're a little bit tricky. Yes. In the fact that they don't follow directly behind you right away. They eventually drift into your sights. Oh, oh there's okay. a little tiny part of, a little tiny shots. The, uh, the bases oh, also yeah. shoot at you. Fair enough. So you got to watch out for those. They're very tiny, but um, there you go. So there's 
P-type patrols, which are the blue, light blue ones, and the I-type, which are the purple ones, more aggressive. Uh, the P-type, not very aggressive, usually minds its own business, except in one formation, when in formation during condition red. Berserk is cart samples. Okay, very cool. Two original games that spoke Quad Run and Open Sesame. Yay! Uh, so that information is on the... Oh, you finished the first level. Awesome. That is on the inside front cover. Is it? No. Oh. No. No, it's not. Lies. Bottom of the inside front cover. It says, well, on this one it says, this page is intentionally left green. And the other one is just talking about the controls. So I do not see it. I don't see it talking about any other games. Did you switch sectors? Uh, because I got to one and two. Well, then now you're on four. I didn't mean to be. I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay. I, I thought I was hitting two, but that's nope. okay. We skipped one. I didn't that's mean to. Good. Yeah. I can die. just die. Yeah. Oh, read it because it's funny. Oh, okay. I thought it explained the other two, the other two games that were using voice. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting little tidbit of information. It is funny. Because usually it says, this page is intentionally left blank. <laughs> but this one is green. Okay. Uh, I'm going to yeah. start from, what should we just trade off well i did i didn't complete two so if you want to didn't start it two. two yeah we have to complete. but i thought i'd hit yeah, anyway that's all right so after you play a game you can continue how do you continue um it just shows up on the on the screen there maybe that's after level 16 anyway you can know. continue okay <laughs> <laughs> otherwise we would never play all the level be able no, to play all the true. levels that's very true. It would be just too hard. So a good idea is to clear out kind of the area a little bit. Yes, yeah, for sure. Because otherwise Things you're, you're going to get trapped into like a bomb or a, a asteroid. Mm. And that is no good for your ship. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, some of these levels, they're like right in the row. <laughs> Makes it very easy to kill them. But each level yeah, has its own... Yeah, once you're on the right path. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Each level has its own distinct layout. And Way to kind of... Uh, are harder than others. Yeah. Oh my god, get out of here. There we go. What was that? What did it say? It said, oh, battle stations. Ah, nice. <laughs> I have it a little bit low. You could probably turn it up just a little bit. I'll turn it up on the next. No, it's okay. That's fine. Free man. Good job. 20,000, I guess. It's free man. Do you want to see if it's every 20,000 or read the manual? Is it in there? Should be. Good job. Yeah, extra ships are earned at 20,000, 70,000, and 70, every 70,000 afterwards. Oh, okay, so you don't get it as easy afterwards. First one's just 20,000. Easy, easy ship at 20,000. I don't know why anybody would want to uh, go after all the six pods around the edges. So much, so much harder <laughs> than just attacking it. The pods? Those six pods that are around the green, those round things oh, at the edges. Oh, you can yeah. do, if you hit, hit, hit every edge. Yeah, if you hit each gotcha. one of them, 
um, then it destroys by itself but without then, hitting the core. It's like a oh, I see the formation. Uh, but other but otherwise, you can just hit it up the up the middle. Yeah, which yeah. is I find so much easier. Yeah, for sure. But you are in the oh, I knew it. You are in the sights of its missile. Mm. That uh, red missile that it mm. shoots out. But it just takes too long to go around the whole, like, surround it completely. Maybe it's a tactic when it gets a little bit harder that it's easier to just avoid the missile because it's constantly shooting out because it does get faster and faster um, shooting its, uh, its missiles. Shot it the opposite way. Okay, that's fine with me. A lot of little shots. Yes, this game is really amazing on how many things are on the screen at the same time. Yeah. It has really good flicker control. Like, if it, it only flickers it when it absolutely needs to. It has no choice, yeah. Yeah, when there's too many things on the, on the same horizontal scan line. Come on. Oh, oh I'm the wrong bottom. way. Yeah. Too many. And when they're in formation, you have to kill the... Oh. The head <laughs> ship. The lead okay. ship, which is the one that, that's the different color. Oh. Mm -hmm. So a good way to kill these guys that follow is just do a tiny adjustment when they're following you. I'll, I'll show you when I get a chance. You mean just move to the side? Yeah, just kind of yeah, jerk yeah. a little bit because over. Because they follow you, but they're... <sighs> yeah, if you move over, you will hit them from behind if, yes. you're, if you're running from them. So. Yeah, and you always kind of want to run from them because it takes a little bit for the their ship to explode. This is a good way to um, position their ships in a cross pattern. Like the, the bases, you mean? Yeah, the bases, sorry. Because they're shooting from two different angles, defending themselves. Oh, oh that was a big, big grouping of uh, ships there. Yes. So, <laughs> see, it has a start and continue. Okay. Let's turn it up just a little bit. I suppose it says unrelated comment. I fooled Champ Games. He thought the music was DPC Pitfall 2 chip. Oh. But it's the stock Atari sound. Early programmers weren't musicians. <laughs> really? And you're talking about Mappy, I'm guessing? Um, can't hear the game sound. Oh my god. Alarm. Terribly sorry, everyone. Yeah, because I've muted for when, um, yeah, very low. You're just hearing it through our microphone. So now you should oh, be able to hear yeah. it. No, because <laughs> I've, I've it muted before the show, so it doesn't interfere and just play random stuff. Um, but you should hear it now. No, this game. Oh, that's hilarious. So you told Champ Games that this... Um, use the DPC Pitfall 2 chip. Well, oh, that's funny. Yeah, early game programmers weren't musicians, even though they did have to use, they did have to do the music almost all the time. They did everything from the graphics to the programming to the music to the sound effects, but um, I guess the people at Atari um, figured out that it's it, the low quality, I guess, or the, the simplicity of the graphics and sound chip made it easier for them because they only had a very limited range of sounds to choose from. So it's like, well, if you want to make music here, just play some notes. Continue. You didn't make it? Not quite. I had one more, one more station. Much better, they yeah. say. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, there it goes. 
just gonna demonstrate it. Okay, this guy. No, he's right behind me. So, because they, they do run behind you slightly offset, so yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Which is a smart because, tactic um, by them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well if you're directly behind you'll automatically. Just die immediately, you don't even have to try to aim for them. See, I left you in this one, that was easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But it is neat how the formations and where the ships are and how close they are together and where the shaft is to shoot them through yes. is offset so it does make it awkward so you're dodging all the asteroids and the ships and the Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Logic. Yeah, it's... to where they're placed. And... There we go. What hit me? Uh, the shot? I the tiny uh, little fragment? Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't even see it. But, I mean, you've got your shots going on. You've got the stars in the background. Oh, yeah. It's it's uh, it's hard to see the little the little shots coming off the stations. Yeah. It's like, uh, just not tumbling, looking. just tumbling through space. Yeah. You, know, you would just see it as background <laughs> stars, you know? Uh, yes. Crazy. I do like the, the multicolored background stars. Yes. It's a nice touch. They are, oh my god, they chased <laughs> me right away. Yeah, they're very, very nice. And they do move a bit, like when you're going yeah, up, they, they move they down. they sparkle. <laughs> yeah, and they sparkle, yes. Lots yeah. of different colors. Yeah, they change color. And Pretty much like the stars yeah, very nice. that very we nice. see from Earth. They, uh, yeah. They do sparkle in different colors. And so once you shoot the, 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 the main, lead ship, yeah. the other ones just get scared. Yeah. But I do notice they have a bunch of different formations too. So, um, they don't always take the same formations. Yeah, some are in a V shape. Some are grouped, and they're they're even in lines. I had one where mm -hmm. they came, came all in a line. So. There we go. Yay. Good job. Sector 7. Right. This is all in a row. And not necessarily all the ports are in a row. Maybe, oh, Ooh. maybe they are. So I'm going to get to the end of this line. Looks like they're trying to shoot each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to find the end. I don't think there is an end. I think they're just probably is an end, but it's spaced probably. out so that you can't really get in between. Not easily. Not easily. Oh. This one is not a simple one. And you always, when you die, you do start back. They do start you in the middle of the radar screen, so you do have to track back, especially if you only have one base left to kill. <laughs> but fair. <laughs> It's a good thing that the, sh the enemy ships that are following you around are just kind of dive bombing you and don't have shots as well. Yeah, that's That would true. be a nightmare. Oh my goodness. They're on a suicide mission. There are enough <laughs> shots on the screen to, uh... Oh, uh, can you read off the... Sure. So we don't miss anything? is saying pro tips color black white is pause okay. um, fire to resume or black white color switch uh, rock explosions are not deadly mine explosion debris is deadly oh so if you shoot right next to a rock you're totally fine as long as you're shot I know the mines hang around for yeah. oh I should have gotten that from the top or the bottom and not went in between them so press continue 
and that'll become more important as we get past the ones that we can set. Yes, I love uh, the homebrews now that they build in a pause function. Because in the original 80s, there was no pausing. You just played and played till you died. But most of those games were so frantic that you wouldn't even have time to pause. But it would probably be nice between levels. Um, 2600 Scramble Arcade has three constellations in round two, which is after you complete one round of all sectors. Scramble Arcade? Scramble Arcade. He said to me I did great with the Draconian DPC music and I did and I had to tell him it was T I A C Wow. It does sound really good. It's amazing. I didn't know that you didn't use the DPC for the music. It is really, really well done. You're actually talking about Scramble Arcade? Like this? <laughs> Three constellations in round two? I'm not, I, I have not played Scramble yet, so uh, we'll have to do that coming up. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about as, in terms of constellations. Oh. You know, if you just run into the station, you destroy it too. Yes, <laughs> that does cost you a life. <laughs> Did you finish that level by destroying the last base? Oh, the one that you left to that? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did get onto the next one, but there's quite a few stations on this. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. So have you... You probably have never seen this game. Before, you know it, it, in the arcade. Or... No, I mean, it was not much of an arcade goer, but yeah. it, it does seem familiar to me. So yeah. I don't know if I've played some similar version of this game. Mm, but um, I'm not sure which computers it was ported to. Yeah, right? I uh, it doesn't feel like it's a brand new game. But... <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, no. In in the sense that I've never played it. Some, some version. Oh, okay. Yeah. I certainly didn't play the original, uh, In the arcade. In the arcade. Yeah. I, I just remember putting in quarters into it and just dying. Yeah. <laughs> dying mercilessly. So maybe it's closer to the expert setting? Oh, the, uh, this? the, it, the arcade it? version, you mean? Yeah, the arcade, like, this is not arcade hard. This, uh, this uh, setting. But the one up from it is, like, well, that's it. That seems just punishing. It's, it's really yeah. hard, the Is one up just, from this. Is it just double like, the, the number of things on the screen? Or? More things on the screen. Yeah. Uh, I think they fly a little faster yeah, to pursue you. Yeah. Like, this, is, this, is getting, this is getting up there. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Did miss anything in the chat? Gives us some hints. Maybe he's explaining my confusion with Scrabble. I was supposed to just saying, yes, that 2600 you Scrabble. I don't think I cleared the first round. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. It's hard then. Oh my god, there's so many things on the screen. Um, last time I played this, um, Daryl Spice Jr. was in the chat, which was nice. really nice. Yeah. I yeah, I believe. Or he watched it after. I can't remember. I, I think he was in the chat. Um, but I was saying to him that I think that this engine, like if you can call it a, a like a game engine, would be able to support um, Galaga for the Atari 2600 because of the number of ships on the screen at the same time. A lot of ships on the screen. Yeah. Um, I think it wouldn't be an issue um, supporting the number of ships that you have to support in Galaga because like so many and um, I better look at the radar 
And I don't know how, how many in a row that it, uh, you can get going. But I don't think it exceeds like a minute. Oh. It's getting hectic. A lot of ships on the screen. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it exceeds the number that Galaga has in a row. Because I... Well, maybe it does, because Galaga, at some point, when they're doing, like, the bonus levels, um, uh, the ships fly horizontally across the screen. And that's what the Atari 2600 has the most issue with, is the number of things horizontally. Oh, come on, let me close! It's doing a good job of defending its base. It is. Very good job. Oh, uh, almost got there. Let's go for the lower right one. We got the right balance of difficulty. Yeah, for the normal level. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Okay. Alright. Make sure you continue. Yeah. I had to get Rigo and Beetlejuice in there, and Thomas Yanks wants his astrological wanted his astrological constellation. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about, constellations, like in the the star formation here. There must be some stars and scramble in the background. And that's a good way to get in, like little bonuses. Oh, I do see. Oh, yes. Okay, I do see. Um, the stars in the screenshots in the back of Scramble. Very cool. Yeah, that looks like a brutal game. And I've just played Super Cobra, I think. I don't think we've encountered a spy ship yet. Ah! Let's see what they look like. There oh, are a few different shape ships. There for are. sure. I, I mean, there's the one that gets shot out of the... Uh, the... Oh, okay. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm doing terrible this Maybe time. it's that three-pronged one, because it doesn't have a picture of that one in here. Um, well, there's the one that gets shot out of the station, and then sometimes, yeah, when they hit battle, battle stations. And they have a formation. Yes. Um, that thing, that thing. I think that's the special. That yellow one. Like, see this guy that gets shot out? Yeah, that's an E-type exterminator. E-type, gotcha. It's not a missile. Ah, 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 ah. I feel like they're getting faster. <laughs> well... Like they're catching up with me. <laughs> I think they are. I think they are. They're sector 10, so... Yeah. Out of, they're uh, definitely moving a lot more quickly. Out of 17. <laughs> of 17 original. Did you destroy a base? Uh, yeah, I, I got at least one of them, yeah. Awesome. Um... I feel like you're covering a lot of black sky now to get to the bases, because you probably uh, destroyed all the asteroids and everything yes. else that are in the very, way. Very empty space. Yes. That, that's his Oh, the three, the three prong? Yeah. The only thing in the manual that doesn't have a picture. Uh, these guys. Oh. And those are the E-types, you said? Those are, yes. those are the, the same um, shapes of uh, ships that come out of Good job. Yes. Whoa! Ooh. A lot of flicker. <laughs> but a lot of things on the same line. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One by one. There we go. It's just the ships coming. And, and all the shots coming oh, The shots from yeah. all the bases are coming in. Maybe I should go out of here and shoot it from the edges. Just too many. Dense. Whoa, that's close. Ooh, that was close. I don't know how you managed that, actually. <laughs> Your luck. Maybe get a Oh, goodness. There we go. Oh. Even 
even though you continue your score it does reset. <laughs> it does reset to zero. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. And it probably goes up faster in these later stages just because yeah. of the sheer the number of things you have to shoot. You just rack up the score really quick. Yeah, that's Oh, good job. Sector 12. Alright. Does that say about Super Cobra? Uh, Super Cobra only has space for random stars. Oh, Ren? Oh, okay. Ren. So we couldn't program in. Constellations. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Barely been able to even get close. There we go. But there's another space. No. There's my entrance. Well, I'll go back. Oh, I got too close. So that was on the edges. Let's go over the edge. Oh, and I posted recently. Funny little tidbit about uh, funny, but <laughs> oh, um, a little thing about uh, Wall Jump Ninja on the YouTube channel and the Facebook and Instagram about what happens after level 95. Mm. And now I did post there that I didn't actually legitimately make it to level 95. Um, I did play that on an emulator um, because it just gets really, really, really hard after, you know, the level I've made it to, 67, where the openings are the exact height of your guy. So what I did is just use save states to get to level 95 and then get to level 96 where the screen goes nuts. It goes crazy. It makes it that much harder to play. And then after level 99... It just stays on 99. It doesn't go to level 100, and it just keeps going. I don't know how many actual levels, programmed levels, there are. I can't, I can't find that information anywhere. But the game obviously is made for you to go to at least level 96. So he thought somebody could go up that high. And I've never seen anybody post that they've ever properly made it to level 96. I think. Um, emulator record is in the 70s, I think, the upper 70s, and that's brutal. Oh, Arena Foot, thank you uh, for voting in that fan. Oh, you voted in the fan level contest. Oh, yes, that's another little uh, piece of information we can talk about for this game. This right here, if you can see it, which you can't, because it's very far away from the camera. <laughs> I'll try and... There we go. Sorry. Oh, now it's focusing. There you go. This is uh, third place uh, for the level design contest for Draconian. Um, you can see that the base is there. And for third. And um, so I entered in a number of levels for the Draconian. Um, and my, I think, three or four of mine made it into the final game and my first place one was in third or the highest one i got was in third place so i was very very happy uh, about making it into that and thank you arena foot for voting in the fan level contest there was a lot of uh levels submitted um and a lot of good ones uh, but uh yeah i'm very happy to made it into the actual cartridge which is always fun and, uh, and my name is in the book here as well. Right there. Nice! Quadrant Sector Levels de designed by Anders Carlson, Alessandro Cesari, Steve Damon, Chris Derrig, German Gonzalez Morris, and James Earl O'Brien. Now do <laughs> So it's always nice to, uh, be, you know, even a little part of of a game, which is awesome. So eventually we will make it to the... Getting faster! <laughs> You're getting faster! Eventually we'll make it to the levels. We're at 12. 12's hard. Yes. 
I swear those, uh, our, our ships are catching up to us now. With the, the attack ships. They seem to be moving faster. Yeah. Oh, they will. Oh, they, oh, they're moving way faster than, than, than the ship is. There we go. Oh, oh just out of the Good corner I got job. it. job. Ooh, this one's packed. Come on. There we go. There we go. Good start. Good one. Left. I haven't got a condition red yet. I did. Did you? Yeah, on one of the levels. And I died Thanks. fairly promptly after, well, after it. They send all the ships to you. I think it's when it, you start taking too long. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So I was thinking about doing Anguina today, but it just felt like this. Look how fast they are. <laughs> I just wanted to play this one today. Because this one... We, I think this was like the first game that we ever did a Let's Play on. So I thought, oh, it's been, it's been too long since this was played on the screen. Camera. Oh, so yeah. tiny. Those little, those little, little uh, shots or bombs or they, they tumble through the sky. Yes. Yeah. Plus, Angoon is just kind of a one-player-ish game. It's an RPG. Mm -hmm. um, but we will get to that so I can finish that game. Didn't make it super far. Oh my god, they're right on your tail now. Um, I think we got two out of six keys, or two out of the six dungeons, however it works. Oh, oh code red. <laughs> just <laughs> swarm and death. Yeah. <laughs> Hack away at it. We'll yeah. get there. <laughs> yeah, just get one, one station at a time. We'll get there eventually. Uh, I suppose to said it, you got a 3D printed base also. Nice. Very awesome. Of course, you totally deserve it for doing all the sound in this game, which is unbelievable. Especially the voices. Uh, great guys that make, sell, and share these games. I didn't do design a level or go to PRGE. Yes, so I was at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, no, we missed it that year, which is so maddening that I didn't make it that year, but we had something else at the same exact time that it just didn't work out. It would have been amazing to be able to pick, have picked that up in person and got the game in the... Yeah, I can't remember why we went there. But it was something, obviously... Something important, but I can't remember what yeah, it was now. I just made it impossible. Because I usually we make the effort every year to go. So. Yeah, and we will be going this year. So I would will be able to hopefully see Daryl Spice shooting. I don't know. He doesn't go every year. But, uh, I think he's often in Yeah, usually. But I don't think he has Terrible. a game. He doesn't have a game coming out this year unless he's puts in a lot of work between now and then. Because he does have some in the works. Um, mm -hmm. Like a Jumpman Junior type game, which I'm very looking forward to. about um, but i remember he has a couple a couple in the works one that was being that was abandoned he was commissioned to do it by somebody and then they just weren't interested anymore and all he has to do is change like some of the names and graphics on it and it was, it was totally fine and he can release it and, and he did put a beta version of it out and it was just like the basics of it but it was like Already. Oh. Uh, oh, they're so fast now. Yeah, they are fast. They catch up. <laughs> they catch up to you really quickly. Oh, yeah, so you can't really. You have to get rid of them. Like, you have to shoot them now. You can't outrun them. Yeah, you can't outrun them for long. No. 
17 on this one. Segments or um, no. sector? No. In the first two, it's not a set. It's uh, oh. modeled after the arcade games. But I thought you said see. there were 16, then 6 repeating. Over over. 17 on this oh, one. Oh, 17, okay. And then 6 repeating. I don't even know if we should do this if we can. <laughs> well, if they're the exact same. Yeah, they take a bit of time to get through. So. Oh. 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 Died off screen. So. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> Speed of the ships. So it's 17, 20, 16, 16 is what oh, I'm yeah. guessing. But on the uh, gamma, we'll have to just kind of watch. And memorize uh, uh, levels, level design, to see when it works. Oh, it got me from the side. Oh, so I close. got rid of one just at the last second. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you're doing way much better times. I don't remember him ever doing a Stay Frosty um, 2 3D model. That would have been amazing. Oh, yeah. Stay Frosty's good. Yeah, that it's is amazing. one that very I, challenging. Oh my god, it's so hard. Like that is it. another one I have to revisit. Yeah. To get through all the levels. Unfortunately I don't think there is a continue on that one. So it's punishing. Very punishing. Uh I suppose this says draconian. I made the smallest sound samples I could, still recognized as placeholders. The arcade does speak really strangely, but clearer. Yeah, this is clear enough. Like, Especially for an Atari, Atari game, like it's, it's, this is amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely at a level where you can you can understand it. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Like you can make it out. Um, I was going to wow everyone with clean, clear samples, but Spiceware used up all the rest of the space, <laughs> and they stuck. Oh, that's okay. They're they're totally fitting for a, a twenty six hundred game. I mean, it's always better to have clearer ones, but if there's no room, there's no room. I'm amazed that these ones made it in. I think they're like 1 or 2k each. Maybe you can correct me. I was just reading through everything to get some more information on this game to talk about today. But I think he was saying there were 2k each, the sound sample. But they may have gone down to 1k. You're the expert. You did it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Always handy having the people who made the game in the chat to give the 100% uh, uh, accurate uh, account of what. Oh, oh my rough. goodness! Getting some more watchers. Can you get me water, please? I'll get some water. There we go. Yes, Daryl is making a programming language. Um, it's uh, Spicy. Uh, named after Daryl Spice, of course. Very interested in seeing how that turns out. Um, I'm guessing it's a bit lower level language than um, Basic which, you know, C in general is. Um, so you probably have a lot more... Whoa. A lot more control over everything, and hopefully it, it's at a level where you could make all of his games, and then, you know, maybe uh, somebody out there would throw down the gauntlet to make Galaga for the 2600. I mean... Um, they were able to make Galaxian for the 2600. Um, I mean, yeah, it's obviously a lot simpler of a game. Um, things don't fly around the screen a lot, but it seems possible. I should really watch some gameplay oh my God, of Galaga to see how many horizontal things. I mean, you can exclude your ship pretty much because it is at the bottom of the screen at, the, at all times. Oh, you killed me. Sorry. You did the same when you were showing <laughs> off the 3D model, so... Yep. I Smack get... Back in the microphone. Sorry. I Sorry. get another go. 
Can we catch up, please? Yeah. The chat. Oh. Where, where were you? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read any like, since we've been gone because I've been playing this stuff. Okay, 3D stay frosties. Yeah. Oh, that didn't happen. Uh, Rena Foot was just saying Daryl had two frosties sent to him by the same person who printed the draft only in the previous. Oh, so that's so they kind do of exist. exciting. Yeah. And also mentioned Daryl might be at Houston Arcade Expo instead of Pure GE this year. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're both at the same time, wow. Arena Foot was telling me. That's a good excuse to go to, uh, to nope. Texas. No, no, it's the exact same day. Is it? Yes. Yeah, Portland Why did they do gaming. that? Why would they do that? That's Green ridiculous. Green was saying that they used to not be at the same time, but now they are. But they are far enough apart that there's not probably a lot of crossover okay. between the people going there, but the programmers well, and the people speaking, yeah, there's going to be a I would assume there's going to be, yeah, a lot of crossover with, uh, as far as, yeah, the speakers and the... the the, the celebrities, the people in the panels, yes. um, even musicians and things like yep. that, you know, they travel long distance to go to some of these, these um, expos. Yeah. And I but, believe Daryl Spice Jr. is from Texas, if I'm correct. Oh god, condition red. Oh, you're doing very well. Oh, away. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Or do I just suffer till I die? Yeah, there you go. Suffer till you die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like. Uh, and uh, I just post, I was just saying that Daryl is making a 2600 programming language, not in basic, but in C. And yes. he wishes he knew C. But that's going to take, um, Arena Foot was saying, yeah, it's going to take a little while to finish the years. So, yeah. years, 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 years. Yeah. yeah. And then I just post is saying that all sound samples in Draconian took 4.5 bytes. Bites? bites. <laughs> not bites. Bites? No, not bites. Four and a half bites? No. Okay. <laughs> That's too big. Bites? No. No, no, no. <laughs> Probably all of them together to four and a half kilobytes. <laughs> a bite? A bite is eight bits. You can't store anything. In that. <laughs> you can barely store your score. Oh, <laughs> we know what he means. I thought it seemed small. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's infinitesimal. That's like super small. Yeah, the big trick in this game is to know this move, where you just adjust by a tiny bit. Oh, yeah. Because it helps when you're. Doing oh, 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 oh. Wow. Well, and I've run into difficulties lining up the shot of the ship and the the channel on the station. Yeah. Oh yeah, Daryl lives in Houston. There Here we go. go, Texas. I knew it was in yeah. Texas. Um, Houston used to be in November, and they moved it to October last year, and then changed the hotel to a bigger one this year. So that's good. It's getting bigger. That's awesome. And we would we definitely want to visit. That area one. So if they move it off <laughs> the same time as Portland Retro Gaming Expo, um, then that would be a very good excuse to time it up with them. Yeah. And especially if it's like the weekend after or something, we could just drive all the way and drive all the way back. Like if we're in Portland and then it's the weekend after, drive to um, Texas. Yeah. That would be a long drive. <laughs> but, but I do like a good road trip, so yep. catch as many places as you can along the way. And we definitely get an eyeful of uh, Texas if we're driving. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. So where is um, Houston? I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. To where, like, Austin and Dallas. Yeah, and Austin. I, yeah, I, I do sure. not know. <laughs> It's a very, I, I, very uh, big state. It though. is a big state, so I, I don't, I don't know enough about the geography of Texas. It's the same width as BC. Oh, I think. It's really big. Yeah. Oh well, I don't know. BC is really big. big. Yeah. And all the maps lie about Canada. That's true. It's actually it goes out way like that. Yeah.
Yeah, in, in Atari Basic, I know it does give you a lot of, um... <laughs> Yeah. It's like I'm moving, but but they're moving so fast. It's like I'm not moving. If that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. You're staying still. <laughs> and they're just dive bombing you. So. Especially yeah, when. It's, uh, it's especially when all the asteroids and bombs are shot. It just looks like you're just standing still. That's good that the star scrolls, or else you will look, you would look like you're standing still. Oh my god. I know they move so fast. Oh well, this is the last level. The, the level 16 that I did yeah. um, was only three stations. Uh, really? Yeah. It was, it was um, not that bad to get through. And then this level, 17, sector 17, is a ton, an absolute ton. And they're moving very, very fast. Yes. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Allah, Allah. It's very fun game. Yeah. It's nice to see that there's a lot of diversity. The sectors and the levels. And the, yeah, it's and not just the same thing. There's a lot of thing. play. There's a lot of play. Yeah, because so, something that has like the same thing over and over again, just faster, doesn't have as much replay value as something that has you know, this many levels. Different levels and yeah. And the ships come at random times. It seems well, the ships go. The rocks and everything are planned out. And maybe they're randomized and then they're static once it's loaded. I never really got a good grasp on that. So, is there, obviously, with um, homebrew games now, yeah. um, more memory can be put on the cartridges themselves to store larger games? Yes, more ROM. And, ROM, yes. And I believe, yeah, all, yeah and RAM as well. So, okay. if you need more storage, say, because it only came with 128 bytes okay. of RAM in the Atari 2600. There's a comic strip that has all these game machines and they're like sitting in an alley and they're really old and they're like reminiscing about the days of old. And, yeah. and the Atari says, oh, I have no memory of it. Oh. <laughs> Which is, every time it gets posted, everybody says, well, actually it does have memory. It's 100, 128 bytes of memory. So it's a... It's a I'm sure it was made by somebody who's not completely you know, up on things on old consoles. But that's, I mean, it's close enough to the joke. Yes. Um, but, yeah, in um, new homebrew cartridges, you can put in, you can put in extra RAM. Because, say, take this one. There's a lot of things this has to remember. Oh, yeah. It has to remember your score. It has to remember your level. It has to remember... Um, all the bases, all the states of the bases, which Where corners have yes. been shot out. Yes, yes. It has to remember what level, like, you know, what, um, I guess condition level it's at. Um, it has to remember a lot of things, and that's not, and that's not even counting you know, programming things. It has to remember, like, it has to remember the stack of when, you know, you jump to a certain part of the program yes and then it has to remember when where to go when it jumps back yeah yeah so but it, what i was going to ask was go subs <laughs> <laughs> um compared to say one of the original cartridges how much more memory are they putting on these these games like like draconian for example um would it have a lot of added memory compared to an original release for the Atari 2600 like that would add in all these extra levels? Yeah. Um, the original, like, first, first releases of the 2600, we're, we're on level 18 and it's repeating. You can see it's the thing in a row. So we're going to go to the next one. Quadrant B. And this one is 20. Don't forget, you're at sector, sector 2. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. So the original 2600 games, when it was first released in 77, um, I believe there was 1K games, if I'm not mistaken. I know there was definitely 2K games, um, I know, and pretty much the default for most of them was 4K. 4K. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you could, you could pack in you know, quite a bit into 4K. And I believe that is the the maximum 
addressable uh, memory uh, space without doing bank switching, like completely uh, switching uh, over to another set of memory um, due to the address lines in, on the chip, on the 6507 chip. It's, it, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, which is very relevant to <laughs> memory, Our conversation. addressable memory. Yes. Um, the Atari 2600 had a cheaper version of this chip where they cut some of the address lines. Um, so, it, so it was, easy, it was cheaper to manufacture. Okay. Um, which also reduced the addressable memory space of it. Um, but they got around that by implementing bank switching. <laughs> that is a little bit easier. Uh, we're back at the beginning of the I'm gonna get out of here. Take it from the outside. It's just too many things going on. Uh, so the maximum maximum addressable space at any one time is 4K. Okay. Um, so any games that are bigger than 4K had to be kind of split up into 4K chunks. Um, so this game would be a 32K game. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure 32K. it is. 32K? Yeah. Wow, that's K. substantial. <laughs> <laughs> so eight times as big. Yeah. Um, but you have to store all the... Please let me know if anybody is... Yeah, his speech took up more room than an original 2600. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I is supposed to says after the 4.5k speech and the bank switch code, this whole game is in 23.5k. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how that's a range. So it would be probably still 32. Mm. Because it, or, or maybe not. Maybe. No, it wouldn't. Be. It would, what's uh? It'd be 24. So it'd be 16 plus 8, and that would be conserving. Uh, wrong. So that you would just need a four, 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 four to make up to twenty. Twenty-six. Is that right? No, twenty-eight. Seven of them. What did you say? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, so it'd be twenty. Twenty-four total. So six. Of them. Six banks of it. Um, and the biggest one that was released during when the 2600 was in the store was the 16, I think a couple 16k games, um, but like two, two. So only Homebrew got up to the 32k amount. So it's quite amazing that they... For something that wasn't originally programmed to ever get up to 32, that they were able to squeeze it out after the fact. And the pro co-processor that allows this game to even be made is the DPC Plus, or the DPC Plus processor, yeah, that's on here. Actually, it's a, it's a different processor. It's the uh, CDF. Anyway. So we said, oh yes, it is 32K. Oh, okay. I was incorrect. CDF bank switching uses 3K, so 27K is left for code. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's just CDF bank switching. Uh, oh, CDF is the... See, I need to learn about CDF. I don't know much about it. Ah! But, um, yeah, there's a coprocessor in this cartridge. Um, during the lifetime of the 2600, only one game used a coprocessor in the cartridge, which was powered by the you know, power running for the 2600. And it was Pitfall 2. And if you look at Pitfall 2, it's like eons better than any other game in terms of graphics and sound um, because it would offload 
a lot of the code to get processed onto the code processor. So it would just go, okay, here's a bunch of stuff to calculate and send me back the results. And it would do it in much faster time. So that, uh, mostly the, the speed you need is for drawing on the screen on a 2600 because you have to calculate every line on a 2600 game individually. So the screen is not mapped out and then drawn. A line is mapped out and then drawn. And then the 2600 has to figure out what the next line has to look like. So it has to do it line by line. So while it's drawing the line, you have to transfer you know, the graphics each time that you want to draw and possibly the sound as well. You have to do every single line, so it takes a lot of computational power. Um, so that's what, they, that's what um, oh, David Crane um, came up with. What hit me? Oh, you ran right in. Oh, probably a mine. <laughs> I think it was mine. Oh, David <laughs> Crane came up with the coprocessor. The, the guy who made the okay. And from there, that's what legitimized, in a lot of people's eyes, the coprocessor that the um, homebrew was. Because some people are like, oh, you should stick to what was released during the reign of the 2600 to make it more pure, mm. right? It's like, oh, you're not playing on an even playing field um, because you're using all these fancy tricks that didn't exist. But in fact, they did exist. They just weren't used as extensively because they came out during the end of the life cycle. Yeah. The and David Crane was trying to um, extend the, the life. life of the mm. 2600. And it very well could have. Like, some of these are at the level very close to the level. If there wasn't flicker, it would be if, if there was more time or more sprites or more players, as they call them, to draw on a single line, you could get very close to Nintendo, like NES graphics. No. <laughs> so dead. Wow. Once you're in condition red, it's over. For more? Chat. Co-processor is the CDF, which is better than DPC Plus, oh, which is has improved Pitfall 2 DPC. Okay, so it is a new co-processor. Mm -hmm. This so. game also uses the 15% idle time of the ARM chip to compute game logic. Mm. Okay. That's so from the uh, IS Poster. Okay. 15% idle time. Um, I'm guessing he's talking about the idle time while it's not drawing on the screen. The time at the top and the time at the bottom where there's overscan. And, and also the time where it takes to... That's one way to do it. <laughs> move the, move the, the, the drawer. Oh, um, the, the gun from the bottom to the top again. Compute game logic. So, um, yeah, Pitfall 2 at DPC, and then it went to DPC Plus, which is. Um, which is on the Harmony cart. And I'm guessing CDF is able to work on the harmony card as well because um i'm able to play this game on the harmony card so i'll have to look into that unless i'm, I'm sure i supposed to knows about that so let me know if cdf is on the harmony card or maybe it's just on the harmony encore which i have or if it's not on there how am i how am i able to play this this game very strange but um uh, Yes, this is how they are able to squeeze this game out of a 40-year-old game system. 40, almost 40. Years. 40 and a half. What level are we on? Five or six now? Uh, seven? 
See, now we'll know. Sector three. three. What? No. Reset? Yes. How did I did I this level. Did you do the start? No. Instead of continue? Mm. I didn't. Oh, it is on start. I didn't hit start. I think because we restarted. Okay, we've made it to level four. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Oh my Don't goodness, at here. least level four. At least. Yes, I made it here. Yeah, because it defaults to start. So yeah. No, once you're on continue, it stays on continue. Oh, I see. Okay, so maybe it didn't start. Yeah, but not, not on purpose. No, well, I mean... Um, it just defaults. Yeah, because normally it, it'll default to continue once you start. I ship plays into it as well. I think. Okay, I'll get that in time. I think if you don't destroy the spy ship, it reports back. Oh, really? Can you look in the manual and see what that is about? Oh, I know what the spy ship is. It's like a, it's like a yellowy green ship. So the enemy yes. will periodically send out a spy ship to find you. If you see it, destroy it immediately. If it escapes, it will report your position, and the enemy will throw everything they've got at you. Which is red alert. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so I've seen it. It's like a yellowy green ship. That's wide. Um, well, we've made it to this level. Too. Yes, it's a yellowy green. So that is how to avoid getting the red alert. Do not ignore that ship. That would definitely help. Alarm! Alarm! Yeah, chase it down. Oh, they're too fast. Alarm! <laughs> Alarm! Um, I think he added some. They were complaining last time that uh, we weren't checking the chat enough. That's why I'm so paranoid. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of bad with that. Um, carts with added chips are more cheaply made with ARM processor. The ARM emulates the ROM, spending most of its 70 megahertz feeding, feeding the cartridge port. Then it emulates the co-processor, making a real ch uh, sorry. Then it emulates the co-processor, making a real chip would be a huge cost. And they realize oh. they could use the idle time to gain logic. 15% oh. uh, of 70 megahertz is a lot of time compared to the uh, 6502s. 1.79 Didn't mean a lot to me, I have to say, but <laughs> if that makes sense to you. <laughs> yes, instead of the old chips, the DPC Plus chips that they've yes. been using since Pitfall 2, okay. they're now emulating those chips I see. with an ARM chip, which is in a lot of phones, because oh, okay. it's very low power, Gotcha. which you would need to be low power to be powered by one line of one, well, the cartridge port, mm. that was terrible, the cartridge port of the 2600, mm. but not only emulating, it's actually faster than the original chip, even emulating so they're able to get more um, processing time out of it. That makes sense now. I haven't done a lot of uh, looking into that, but nowhere near even starting to program for DPC Plus or you know, any of its CDF. So I haven't had a, a, a reason to look into that, but that, uh, that education is pretty quick about it. That's the spy ship. Yes, have to kill it. Yeah. That will stop all the red alerts coming. Mm -hmm. 
Well, for the time being. For the time being, until they can get really fast. Alarm! Alarm! Thank you very much, for educating me and our listeners. Listeners, watchers, mm -hmm. we're on video now. I used to do radio shows, so that's why I said <laughs> <laughs> Our listeners out there yeah. in Radio Land. Yeah, old habits are hard, as they say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> video is much more exciting. I just posted the Harmony. Harmony Encore is the same board that's in Draconian with added SD card components. So oh. yes, the Harmony does CDM. Oh, okay. Oh, so the Harmony has an ARM. Uh, ARM. Uh, oh, okay, very cool. Harmony, harm and our Harmony on Encore. Another line. Oh, uh, probably because some of the levels are the same in the different arcade. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, so no, no, there would be sense. a bit of a copy. A a yeah. Oh no, these, these alternate. The um, there was one in the first set. Oh, there was like had, this. Yeah, that had an alternate. Like that. And there was one that was all, all in. allowed a, a week. I can see the oh, oh, you got it? The job, the job. Wow, that yo, you're definitely improving. Woo! Oh, that's a lot of flashy. And, and, uh, this was this was in the first um, set as well. I remember this flashing. Or at least where you start. Yeah, right in the center. Oh, I did kill it. Oh. Tiny little bullet got me. should, but I don't think you did. <laughs> I don't think it knows that you did. I could. It doesn't work that way. Unfortunately. I want it. your score is... 107. Maybe I'll get a top score if I submit it. <laughs> submit it to... Um, yeah. they, have, they have specific rules for doing top scores. You have to start at X level, and gotcha. you can't start in the middle level, level, which I did, so it wouldn't count. Because you have to start on an even playing field, and definitely be level. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do it. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'm not. But I am getting better at it. If you ever want to die instantly in the game, just say, oh, I'm getting really good at this. Yeah. Death. <laughs> Death. Oh, it's a Y. That's a new pattern. Oh, of course, they're all the horizontals. Go around each one. How was that? That was fancy. Pretty well, these are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aha, my ship, gotcha. And that 
can see on the very right hand side. Little dots on the side. A lot of them do commit suicide, I've noticed. They just randomly <laughs> run into, like, like asteroids and things. I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure they're aware of the mind. Oh, no, 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 but it, it, they, they just, sometimes they just randomly run into something. Yeah. Like, set off a mine, set off, <laughs> ran, run into an asteroid, run into each other. Well, the ships are obvious in this world, obviously, it's, um, expendable. Because... They're all on suicide missions. That's all they can do. They can't shoot. Yeah, they just so there run must be directly into very low cost ships <laughs> that they're sending out. Like just, just enough to propel themselves. And they're like modern a... cars, they're made of plastic, you know? Like yes. Once they fall apart, that's it. You have to buy a new one. Yeah, it's yeah. not worth repairing. No, not worth repairing. <laughs> There's no metal in them at all. Oh, I got away. Oh, no, I came back. Thank you. Oh, oh, dead anyway. Oh, that was really good, though. Yep. Now we're going to make sure we're going to continue. Yes. <laughs> High score, 151,000. Oh, it's stuck to our left. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Nobody's there. <laughs> You're all Sorry. entranced. Did you just I just, die I just ran right into a mine. Yeah, you're not you're not playing for the enemy. <laughs> playing for our team. Yeah, you would know sometimes. <laughs> I am Terrible. getting Nintendo thumb. Oh no. Oh, no. You rub your thumb raw. Yeah. I was gonna say, what have I done? <laughs> not doing so hard. No! You've been playing for so long. I, I thought I'd That's right. That was a long, pretty long play. It was a long play. I see. I'm just. No, I'm playing again. Sure <laughs> that continue. was terrible. Be, be very careful. Yep. Okay. It is continuing. It's just when you restart, I guess, the sector. Yeah. It's really far away. Is it quiet? Uh, it's just really far. There we go. That's a bit better, hopefully. Check, check, check. Let's just turn it up a little bit. Check, check. Yeah. You're good? I think so. <sighs> Very cool um, cover to this. Um, I That's think crazy. last stream I wore the t-shirt like this, but it was for the, like the 2600. Um, I would love for somebody to make the actual haze manual for for the 2600. Not like it couldn't be done. There's probably enough information out there to compile it all together. And you just have to be very careful with the naming and maybe the pattern or color and see if they have a... Oh, you did it. Nice. So, some more news has come out about the Retron 77, which is, um, what's the name of the company that makes it? Um, they made the Retron 5. Um, it's a, it's a kind of emulator in a console. Mm. And they've, um, they've done Atari before. Anyway, it, the Retron 77 allows for cartridges to be plugged into it and has HDMI output, which is kind of what I'm doing here with less stuff, like less uh, less hardware. Mm. Because right now, I'm dying, but right now I have an original Atari 2600 um, plugged, and it has been modded for RGB, which is the highest analog output you can get out of anything, really. So it is a very, very clean signal coming out of it. 
and then it goes into a frame meister which keeps the latency very low as it converts up converts it to hdmi a digital signal which you're able to plug into a modern tv and that's why you want to keep the um the latency very low so that when you press a button on the controller the game responds immediately because um, if there's latency through you know the tv up converting it to um, 720 or 1080p um, it takes a little bit of time but when you're watching a movie it doesn't matter because you know even if the movie takes 10 seconds to um, up convert it you don't know because the audio and the video are right in sync but with a game you're interacting you're pressing a button uh, I've gotten off track. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is very low latency, this system that I have here. Obviously, because I'm playing on it and streaming, and it works perfectly. Um, for, ah, don't go away. I need to kill you. Ah, uh, got it. But what Retron 77 is, oh my goodness, is that it puts it all into one package. Um, it puts, it, you don't need the Frame Meister. You just plug the cartridge in and it outputs uh, 720 because that's a very nice multiple of screen resolution of an Atari rather than 1080p and then it has to do something. Yeah. Can you get away? Yeah, I got away. Doesn't matter anyway. Oh my goodness, it's hard now. Mm hmm. Um, but. The one downfall of the Retron 77, it is it's not running original hardware or even emulating hardware. It's running an emulator on a chip inside of it. So you're not getting perfect emulation of a game and there's going to be a list of games it can't play. You wouldn't be able to play this game in the Retron 77, which is not possible. It doesn't know, it doesn't understand anything. It, it actually can't address the information on the cartridges because it has a 16K limit, um, kilobyte limit. So you won't be able to do the 32. <laughs> Brutal, eh? It this is, is hard. really hard. They, no, they're catching up to you now. This is when it gets really difficult. Yeah. Is when... Um, their speed? Their speed. Like, yeah. they're, they're totally catching up to the speed of your own ship. Yeah, I think it, it jumps up. Very, very challenging. Um, you pretty much have to kill them. Yes. As, as oh they, yeah, and then, and like if you're trying you to run, them. if you try to run away, they they literally catch up to. Yeah. You know, it, it just. Oh. But it can play most most games. Anything that's 16 k and below. Okay. So I'm very. I probably will get it as long as it's not terrible. Like, totally terrible. Because it's a really nice all-in-one package that's very transportable to give a really good quality output for Atari games. Just all the best uh, homebrew won't be able to play on it, unfortunately. Which is very sad. But it does take... Uh, is that true? No, it just won't take cartridges. Um, or does it not even... What killed me? The mine. The mine. See, I'm not paying attention. I'm talking. You're talking about Retron. Yes. Seven, sorry. Retron 77. 77. Um, but it does take an SD card, which is good. And I think you can play 32K games in that, so you may be able to play this. And it does use Stella, which is... The definitive um, emulator for Atari games. Um, so that is a really good thing, and it's updatable. And the guys have been talking about it on the Atari Age forums, um, like the people from um, the company, and they're very open to anything and hacking and expanding the system. And um, so I think it's going to be a pretty good product, um, especially since they're working with the community to make it a, a really good system. 
So as long as the hardware is decent, and it actually takes original joysticks and paddles and everything. So it's pretty exciting, and it should be out by the time we go to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So, oh, oh, he turned it. Around. That's what he did last time. He hit the edge of the screen and turned around. He bounced. Almost. Yeah, bouncing. Like he almost like it. He made it fair. Mm. That it's like, oh, I'm faster than you. Yeah. So I'll come. I'll swoop back. Yeah, just so that it's like, well, he's, the spy ship is always going to win if he's heading away from you. Just sees you and heads away immediately. So that might be like a compromise. Yay. Yay! Level 15! 15. 15. Five so more close. to go. Six. Oh, it's 20 on this one? 20 on this one. Oh my goodness. It is. That's just the breath. Since we're going up to level 20, it should be harder. Oh, oh. we ground too much. Because we only went to 17, so not, not much harder. A little bit harder. There, find my face. Don't get close. There we go. Oh. Released a spy ship and killed it immediately. Excellent. Oof. Oh my goodness. So next Friday, we have two... I, I've been trying to post which games ahead of time that I'll be playing on the show in the Atari Age forums. Because um, I have a post under homebrew category that I'm trying to keep up... I thought I would get them. That I'm trying to keep updated mm. with like future shows and which games I'm going to play in those future shows. So let me load that up. I can remember which one is going to be next Friday. This Friday, I mean. Dead? Into me. Oh, you just ran right into me. Oh, wow. Okay. Too fast. Oh, I supposed to is talking about the Retron 77. The SD card can play 2600 binaries. The cart limit is 16K. The emulator limit is through DPC Plus. So large game files, even 64K may run. Ah, okay, good. So as long as uh, the homebrew uh, community, the people who are programming the games, release a ROM that we can play on the Retron 77, then we'll be able to play all the games. On it. So that is wonderful. Um, and if somebody builds Stella 511 for it, it can handle the new more processor intensive code. It would play Draconian from a file in the SD card. So I'm not sure what build they're using for Retron 77, but I know the, the guy from the company was posting saying they were using a closed source version or originally. Um, and then they upgraded to the open source version, which is good. Because that means it can be updated. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to go down. Um, since they're using the open source code, will uh, the community will be able to check out the code and how it interacts with the hardware on the Retron 77 and be able to adapt? Phew, hard adapt new versions and kind of maybe build it into Stella so that it, oh my goodness. It's hard. <laughs> so that it works better with the Retron 77 because I'm talking to it. Well, yeah. Sometimes it makes it easier. <laughs> See, oh they catch goodness. up too. It's terrible. It's oh, terrible. What a brutal. Oh, he mentioned it's running version 4 something. Five was released not yeah it's pretty old um yeah they should update that but i mean they had to stop at a certain point to make it work with the hardware because up because they're putting in their own special code 
to make it work with their hardware. So if they update Stella, they're going to have to reinsert their code and it may break their code. So, wow. They must be using a pretty late version of 4. Because 5 came out... I don't know how late 5 came out. I'm not going to look. Somebody else can figure that out. Uh -huh. It's too hard to look up stuff over there. But um, for next Friday, the games... Or this Friday, in two days... Uh, the games are going to be AVCS Tech Challenge, uh, which is on cartridge. Right. Where is it? Uh, it's somewhere. It's somewhere up there. Um, and the two work... Uh, so that's not a work in progress. That's, that's a finalized one. Uh, the other one is Princess Rescue, which I don't have con cartridge. I, I wish I did, but... Unfortunately, I, I was not heavily buying homebrew when that came out, so I missed that boat. And now it's impossible to buy because it's in the hands of collectors, and they're not going to give it up for probably 10 to 20 years. <laughs> um, and the last game is Super 3D Portals 2, which is an Atari 2600 version of Portal. Oh, nice. <laughs> It's a 2D version. That sounds like And fun. it's really interesting how yeah. they implemented it. Yeah. It's using two joysticks. One for one. shooting one of them and one for shooting, shooting the, the other. other gun. I okay. think that's how they did it. Nice. Yeah. And it's like, it's very unique, but it works. And you're trying to get through kind of a, a 2D vertical room. So you have to, because you can't jump up high, you have to use the portal to get up and around things. Ah, at least I got one. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. It is very tough. Yep, the strategy is just pretty much kill everything that comes on the screen because it will kill you. It will catch up to you. Can't outrun anything, mm -hmm. which takes a lot of your time up. <laughs> so any purple guy that comes on the screen, you're like, oh, no, now I have to kill him. I have to stop doing what I'm doing, mm -hmm. attacking a base, and kill the purple guy. Another circular level. Another circular. Yeah. So that's reused from. It's not the exactly other one. the same though. A little bit, a little bit different. <laughs> Oh, no. Nope. Should have went up instead. Kind of the good thing about the missiles that shoot out of the bases is that they are right in line of where you're shooting. Yes. Yeah. So well, that, it blocks it blocks them. It blocks you from actually hitting the base. It but does. then it also tends to hit other ships. So. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Does the missile kill other oh ships? yeah, yeah. Oh, they run okay. into each other all the time, oh, okay, which good. does offer, I guess, some advantage. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's too many. Oh no. Yeah, I think I'll have a blister on it tomorrow. No one has Nintendo thumb? Nintendo thumb. Could you get a band-aid? Are you is it actually, actually blistered? Oh maybe a band-aid might not help, but could you get one to try? Yeah, it's being rubbed raw. Damn it. Yeah, the Retron would definitely have to have at least one gigahertz to to be able to emulate. I mean it's not I mean, even the the simplest um, Raspberry Pi, I believe, can do Atari Twenty Six Hundred stuff, and I'm not sure where that starts. Your turn. Thank you very much. My turn. Yep. Continue. Level sixteen, almost Woo! there. Putting on a band aid. <laughs> this is destroying my thumb. But this may not give the grip I need. We'll see. 
Let's see if there's an upgrade. Uh, ABCS Tech Challenge is current is the current Harmony Games High Score contest. Well, that's perfect. I could do two things in one. <laughs> um, ABCS Tech um, Challenge is Aztec is Aztec Challenge originally, so it's the port for the 2600. I think I did this Band-Aid too tight. Um, but I <laughs> played the hell out of that game on the Commodore 64. It was, uh, I love that game. I love the moody, moody music. Oh, that was close. That was. Really moody <sighs> music in it. It's like, dun, 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 Really, really good music. Um, thank you, Arena, for, for that information. I'll have to look up what, I believe it's like, a very specific challenge that you have to do, and I think it's only, it's not the rock falling challenge, it's just the ducking, which is fairly boring to play forever, but, um, that's, that's the challenge they put up. <laughs> Stella 5.11 has been built in the Android emulator, to, I'll have to read that after. Can you read that bottom line? Sure. Uh, Retro 77, oh, Stella 5.11 has been been built into Android emulator 2600.emu, but it's not okay. released yet, and I can't build it from source. I'm interested to see if a 1.3 gigahertz Android can pull off Mappy or Dr Draconian. Mm. And then IS Post also says, Retron 77 better have at least 1 gigahertz, I would guess. Mm. Mm. I don't know if this band-aid is going to work. It's very slippy. <laughs> yeah, well, there are other band-aids. That's the fabric one. And I have no sensation. No. no. this is... Too hard. I'll, I'll try it for a bit. See if I just adapt to it. But it's kind of slippy. Mm. I may just suffer through the pain. <laughs> as long as your blister doesn't burst. Well, there's no blister yet. It's just really, really sore. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're pushing a little too hard getting a little too <laughs> intense intense <laughs> well yeah that would make sense if i was being a little bit lighter on it it shouldn't be blistering after an hour and a half yay, yay on zero zero lives 70 four more to go oh a question mark oh no this isn't working oh no no <laughs> grab another one no 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 just go without. I just go without. It'll be easier. It's just no sensation. And it's slipping around. And... The hardships of uh, playing uh, 2600 games. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Arena Foot says he has the national record for ACBCS, a BCS tech challenge on highscore.com. Well. Very nice. Mm, <laughs> that may be my next. Uh, Next one to try out for a high score. Interesting. Are you still in sync? Check, 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 check. Of course I'm out. I'm not uh, yeah. talking anymore. No, still in, still in sync. <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know. Very lagged. It, the buffer is built up quite a bit. I don't know if that's Twitch or uh, OBS or not. It's like, uh, almost like 45 seconds. And when it starts, it's like 15 seconds, maybe? As long as it doesn't go out of sync, I don't care how laggy it is. Oh. 2440 is his score, and the world record is 3,670. Well, I'm going to try that after. What is that? <laughs> after we go off the air. It's for AVCS Tech Challenge, which is Aztec Challenge, which is what we're playing on Friday, and is also the high score challenge right mm. now on... Um, on the forums? 
that what they said? Or is it on um, Facebook? Whoa. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm perfect in the fact that it is. Yay, got the spy ship. Oh. Much, much better without. Yeah. You need some grip. Yeah. Oh, I should go. It's a long way. Up. I should go down. Wrap around instead. Oh. That spy ship came out of nowhere. Come on. What is happening? Oh, they seem to be a little bit more resilient as the <laughs> levels go up. Well, you do have to hit them right in the smack in the right spot. Too many things. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going down this one. Yeah, down this is here. You, you hit it really quickly. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ah! Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh. There we go. Video audio is good. Thank you, Arena. Good, good, good. Harmony Games High Score Contest in the uh, Atari Age Forums. Okay, okay. Um, but the problem is, if you don't start right away on the high score contest, it's cumulative. So when they go week to week, oh, I see, I see. You miss getting points for that first and second and third game. I think it's. I don't know how many games in they are, but I mean, I can't catch up. But you can still try for high score of that game. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the ABCS Tech Challenge was on HighScore.com. There's not many homebrew on there, but I guess you can always submit to it. Oh, right into it's it. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. I think I was being a little bit too um, too risky as well when I was playing. I was like heading towards them, thinking I can shoot them, but like, well, like when like they're that. going that quickly, it's hard to turn around quick. Sector 18. Oh. Oh, that's like. Uh, the eye, like the, um, those eyes in Egyptian, Egyptian eye, that's what it looks like. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Ra the hieroglyphic. Whatever it is, yeah. yeah. Ra or Isis or, don't know, I think it's just a general eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah I think that's what they're going for. That's what it looks like. Or is there, I think there's also a, uh, horoscope sign that kind of looks like that? Is that Libra? No, no. no. Something else. One of them looks like that. Uh, a little bit. I do know what you're talking Ooh. to. I knew I was not going to get out of there. Um, not the winds. Not the uh, Oh, maybe. Pisces? Pisces? It might be Pisces. No, that's yeah. fish. Pisces. Is that two fish? There's one that's waves, though. I'm positive. That kind of looks like that. Mm -hmm. Aquarius. Aquarius. But it's either, a, yeah, Pisces is maybe fish. I think it's Aquarius. Oh, my God. Yeah. How we got on the astrological signs? I'm <laughs> not sure. <laughs> I thought Aquarius was the person dumping a bucket. Yeah, but I think this. I, I'm not sure person? if. Yeah, like I'm not sure the. Uh, um, <laughs> the symbol for it. I mean, often it's a vessel of water being poured. Yes. But I'm not sure if the symbol is that. The symbol might just be wavy lines. Right. Yeah. Uh. I'd have to look at it. What, what is your astrological sign? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I know it's it doesn't matter. Relevant. I never think of it. It's Libra. Oh, okay. You know what? Everybody knows their astrological sign. No, that's fair. Everybody does. Even though it's garbage. It's a funny thing that it's so invasive. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, one more. One more. It's so invasive, and it's, it's just stuck with us, and every newspaper has that in it. As if newspapers are still around. But well, yeah, yeah. and, oh. and uh, you know, now that really newspapers aren't around anymore, you wonder if anyone ever looks at their astrological uh, horoscope um, anymore. Well, <laughs> certain people do. Probably. Uh, it was added in 2000, 2013 to highscore.com. Wow. I'm surprised not more homebrew are in there. If that one's in there. I swear there was only like a list of like five homebrew games and very, very limited Atari 2600 games. Obviously those <clears throat> places like highscore.com 
are for modern games and like PS4 or PC games or Xbox One games um, because that's you know that's where the people compete or most most likely arcade games. Uh, but that's whoa, that was close. Like pixel away from running into it. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but you still had three lives. All and you, would have... you need is a pixel. Yep. I think I might have a chance at getting a pretty decent score at, at um, AVC Aztec. What an awkward name. Awkward adaption. Port name. <laughs> AVC Aztec uh, challenge. Here's mine. Now I'm worried. Oh my goodness. I just didn't see it. Oh, there it is. It is not. AVC Aztec challenge. NTSC stamp. Uh, 2006. So it has been around for quite a while. So that's coming out tomorrow. No! Oh! I oh. oh. got rid of them. Yeah, he got rid of them one way, <laughs> one way or another. Are we, what? 19. Sector 19? So two more. On this. Oh, oh, I'm having a terrible time. They just keep running into me. <laughs> It's not me it running into them, they're just... It is difficult up this high. Yeah. I've had several Atari 2600 homebrew games added to the high score. Lovely. That is excellent. Mm -hmm. Let me go for this one down here. Whoa. I think I can come at you pretty fast. Oh. Crazy. If you go off screen, a good, a good tactic, even though it doesn't look like it's a good tactic, I'll show you when you when I get back down to it. When you if you keep screen? the center of it off screen, he doesn't shoot. He only starts. Oh my god! I thought those guys don't come after you. Maybe oh the, no, they all come after you now. In the higher levels, they do now. Yeah, no, they totally come after you. See, if you keep the middle of it off screen. It, um, it won't shoot. It won't shoot. Yeah, because it that animation only starts up um, when you can see it. Yeah. So that's a little bit of a strategy to help you at least get close to lining up without being in danger. Well, yeah, your your shots go to the edge of the screen, so yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh. it is hard. Oh. It is hard. Mm -hmm. Just eating away at them, one by one, as long as we get... We just keep swapping back and forth. Yep. Oh, you've had... Oh, he's added several older games, not his scores have been added. But since you added them, you probably have a score in each one of them. Because what's the point of adding them if you're not going to try for a high score? Oh, did you shoot that? It just, like, disappeared. Oh, I also, I was, um, I posted yesterday in the Atari Age forums about doing tests on my capture device, my hardware video capture, um, and somebody responded with some test programs that he recommended for me to use, or they recommended me for, to test out to see if it's dropping any frames. Um, and I think they were all games, though. Um, if anybody... That's one way to do it. Well, yeah, I'm going to been... be right back. Okay. <laughs> if anybody else out there knows of a good program that maybe, like, runs through numbers, like 0 through um, 59 or 1 through 60, to track down, like, frames, um, so I can analyze... If there is actually any frames being dropped by my hardware encoder, um, and that would be an excellent test to see that if there is. And I was also asking in the forums, but nobody has uh, come up with that yet. <laughs> oh my god! Um, if there is a better hardware video encoder that does 60 frames a second, because right now I have the Elgato. HD60S, and it does a very decent job, as you can see um, in the stream. It um, gets like almost all the frames 
but sometimes it doesn't get a frame. And when you've got something at a um, flashing at a 15 hertz um, cycle, so one once every four frames, and it misses one of those frames, like it drops that that. Um, oh my goodness! I, at least I got it. And it drops one of those four at the 15 hertz. Um, then it goes to one out of every eight. Then it's really noticeable, especially when you're seeing it uh, flashing at one every um, one every eight. Um, and then it or one out of every four, and then it drops to one out of eight. Every eight. Then it's very noticeable. So, going back to if anybody knows of a good, you know, general uh, video test program. Um, or something you can set so that it it's a constant 60 hertz flicker where nothing else goes on the screen and no, you have no chance of dying or it can recommend a game where there's no chance of dying um, and I can see um, the 60 hertz flicker um, the, well yeah 60 hertz flicker um, maybe at a 15 or, or whatever um, please yes let, let me know either on the Atari Age forums or posted here and I should be able to getting back to the chat afterwards is a little bit hard um, or you can go to oh, that was terrible go to the my Facebook or Instagram page um, I may post it there as well um, but you could just leave a message there on my Facebook page um, zero page homebrew terrible this is the last sector of quadrant beta Level, level 20. And then we will go to the next one, Gamma. Last level. 20? Yep. Of this one. And then we go to in-house made levels mm -hmm. levels that were made for the game um, do you know which one is yours oh we're not going to that one yet. Oh, okay <laughs> that's the one after um i will i will recognize mine <laughs> i can't remember which numbers they are though oh that's too far i made a check mark one i don't know if that made it i made some Ones to suck up to Daryl Spice, <laughs> which worked. <laughs> I did his initials. <laughs> nice. D DS. Uh -oh. And I also put JR. <laughs> Daryl Spice Jr. Nice. And one of them got in there. I think it's the Junior. Oh, nice. <laughs> like it didn't make it into the voting, but he put it in anyway. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. It was like an override. Overriding vote. Uh, I suppose it says Retroarch Stella. Still at 3.93. Oh boy. Raspberry Pi can run a newer standalone Stella. But version 5 has switched to SDL2, which is causing problems building on the Pi. Well, that's above my head. I don't know what SDL2 is. Um, if you explain it, maybe I will understand it, but uh, maybe not. So, up to you. <laughs> if you want to explain what SDL2 is. <laughs> now, for the next quadrant, I wasn't able to find definitively how many. Like I said before, how many levels they made. I was trying to look through every post um, in Daryl Spice Jr.'s blog about this game. Um, he, but I can only find him mentioning that the levels exist, but not how many. Uh, and I tried to do a general search for levels and Draconian, but that just came up with a whole bunch of pages that... Uh, nothing to do with even Draconian, or it was mentioned offhand and it wasn't really... One left, I think? Oh, was it? Yeah, there's like Excellent. one by left there. One or two, maybe. But... Simple display layer. 
Okay. Doesn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Simple display layer. Something to do with graphics? Maybe. <laughs> there we go. We're done. This quadrant. Now, it's up to quadrant gamma. I see your little 3D. Ah, yes. Actually, I'm going to put the fan on this, Oh, too. very nice. Hopefully that's not too noisy. Oh, that's better. <laughs> it is warm. Yeah, it is warm in, in uh, Vancouver. In know, Vancouver, and these lights are... are what's the temperature in the room? Yeah. See, I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but uh surprised the camera's still running. Oh yeah, it usually runs into problems by now. I don't know why it was giving troubles when we were doing something the other day. We were filming. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, and it was not as hot as that. No. It was like twenty four and a half. But uh you didn't have the display off, so that might have been why. Yeah, right at the beginning I didn't. And I think that just it overheated just it very, very quickly. Made it sensitive and yeah. angry at me. Yeah, our main camera is not really a film camera. So. No, it just works kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> works well enough. <laughs> yeah, enough for this. Yeah. It's a mirrorless still camera that happens to do video. Oh, goodness. Oh, I've got good points for it. I think I'll beat my 100,000 score. <laughs> Ship there. Destroyed it instantly. Things interfering. And if you go off the screen while it's ready to fire, it'll not fire at you. Oh, I can kill that one right away. Oh, there's two of them. Sometimes you can build um, two bases on top of each other. Can you? Yes. Oh. And I believe in that case, if you make them in opposite directions, you do have to go around and shoot all the edges. All the edges, all the sides? Yeah. That's... Really? Uh, I think. I have accidentally destroyed a station by hitting all its edges. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, there are a few I hit one at an angle, and I thought, how did I manage that? But then I realized I just oh. hit the last of the six pieces of it. Yeah. But I thought that was very odd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, how, what? How did that happen? <laughs> but yeah, if you do manage to get all the other edges. Yay, yeah. good job. Sector six already. Woo. Oh, okay. Now watch the patterns. Um, and make sure if we see a repeating one. A repeating one? Oh, yeah. And then it looks the same. Um, so this is like a kind of a... Yeah. Flopian <laughs> tubes. That's very strange. That's a very th strange thing for you to suddenly yes. associate with a, with a, a Atari yes, twenty six hundred game. <laughs> it does. It is very strange. Uh, like me, I can understand why I might associate uh, the formations of space stations on a on a on a spaceship shooting video game with a uterus, but uh, that is a little funny. Oh, got both of those in one shot. Well, two shots, but at the same time. Mm. Ah, come on. He's lined up. It's there annoying. you go. It's annoying when it's like, I'm trying to stay lined up, and it's like, no, we're going to force you out of alignment. Good job. Yay! Okay, so that one's all kind of spaced out and upside down. So it's like an M. An M. Yeah, it's like an M. McDonald's M. Very curvy M. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was dumb. 
Well, I'll do half the levels, and then you can do the last half of the levels. <laughs> whatever works, whatever works. Got a few levels to get through still, so. Yes. Just joking, we'll get harder. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have. Tried to kill it. Shouldn't have. So to do a 100% run through of this game, which is not going to happen by anybody, um, there are 256 virtual levels for every um, quadrant. Mm. That's what the number counts up to. And then it goes back to one. But that would mean there's a thousand levels. Levels. Oh, jeez. And it just gets harder and harder and faster and faster. Nobody's yeah. going to play a thousand levels. Like when it takes... What? How, how long? Per what? level. This is a different... Oh no, we're resetting again. Is this back at the yes. beginning? Yes, I played all of those and you pressed start instead of continue. Because it's on start by default. Well, I'm just going to die. And let me play? No. We still have to go through all these. Oh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart right. at the level we ended up at. Seven. Yeah, that's right. Yes. That'd be stupid. <laughs> Yeah, because I just hit, hit, um, what sector? Seven. There we go. All right, let's try this. Yes. <sighs> good, good, good. No, we don't want to do that. So, sector seven out of 16, I'm guessing. It's a nice round number. So that's how many he made available for the contest. So I would assume it would be the same for, oh. you know, it was a little, little dot. Oh. I miss them too sometimes. Yeah, you just don't see them. Yeah. It happens. So we have about 24 more, more levels to do. <laughs> just jiggle around a little bit. <laughs> just let jiggle. things let things uh, shoot out in a, a bunch of random directions. Yeah, you know, just do a rotating eight, yeah. eight degree shot, eight angle shot. Oh, Ooh, I hate those pink things. They're horrible. Yeah, they just hone in right on you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I hate those pink guys. What are they called? I, I class. I class? I think. Sorry. P I type. I type? I was going to say it sounds like uh, a BMW. Uh, yeah, BMW I type. I type. <laughs> <laughs> um, or T type. Yes. <laughs> and then you're thinking of a completely different thing. So P is for patrol, which gotcha. means they don't go after you, they're just looking around. So it's those guys, the blue ones. I is interceptor, and E is exterminator. And those are the missiles. Gotcha. They all shoot directly out of the air. Going to continue. There we go. Yeah, we're okay now. Yes. Now that we've got it set up properly. Now that it's on there. Thank you, everybody, for uh, continuing to watch, or at least have it on in the background. Yeah. <laughs> it is quite a marathon to get through this, but. Once we've done it, we've done it. We never have to do it again and we just play it for fun. <laughs> Rather than you know, play it for torture. <laughs> just like the other... I mean, Panky the Panda was something that, you know, you have to get through. Like, it's the game. That was a fun. That was that a fun game. That was a really game. good game. I, I was oh. definitely getting a little tired by the end, especially since I wasn't playing at all. <laughs> but, well, last... but it was a fun little game. And that last room was really challenging. Yeah. yeah. And that was the sticking point, really. Yeah, it was. It really A couple was. of rooms before that were difficult, but passable. Yeah. But the last room to jump over those guys. After I did it, it was like, oh. It wasn't that hard. It's not that hard. Yeah. But just timing it at the very last second of the 
Oh my god! <laughs> very last second of jumping, like the very last pixel you had to do. Mm. And I'm, I mean, it's done on purpose because it's the last thing in the game. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun. Uh, a lot of variety. Like it just kept changing. And the difficulty definitely ramped up pretty nicely. Oh my. There we go. One more. Bad guys take out the minefield for you pretty good. Yeah, they do. They run into things pretty randomly. There we go. There we Yay! Go. Good job. Sector, Sector eight. eight. What is? Oh, an F. Well, that's pretty recognizable. Not the F score. But it's an F. It's a letter you can spell with bases. Oh, oh, one of mine is um, an Atari symbol, like the Atari ah, the logo. Ah, smart. Oh, man. Very smart. Somebody else did one, too. Yeah. I think mine was better. <laughs> better spaced out. And... It's got a better look to it. <laughs> Arena Foot admits... Yeah, I was watching the NHL Stanley Cup game <laughs> and, and listening to you and the NBA game earlier. Uh, yeah. That's fair enough. So we're competing with the, uh, the NHL Stanley Cup game. Yeah. I, I don't think it's the finals or anything. I don't know where we're at. I, I, I'm Canadian. Uh, I should. <laughs> we do have somebody still in there, right? I think I saw it on what the TV I, the other day. Is it, is what, the Jets is in NHL? I don't know. It's terrible. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, unless it's uh, the neither Vancouver of us are, are, are sports fans. No. And and if even if it was the Vancouver Canucks, I'd be like, we eh. might know if they you know if they're in the, the later last, stages of the playoffs. Yeah, the last rounds. If they're in the finals, that's all I would care about. Just because it's it's actually really exciting. It is exciting. Like yeah. not not the hype surrounding it, but watching it is very intense playing. Oh, yeah. Because when you watch at the beginning of the season, it's like, la, 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 well. la, la, and they're so boring and slow, so tedious. <laughs> but when they're, when we're it not, counts. We're not sports people. <laughs> yeah, obviously not sports people. Yeah. Um, Video game people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think the Winnipeg, I know the Winnipeg Jets were playing. I, I just, I really have not been following them. <laughs> and for a no. while there, we actually had, um, leftover seasons tickets and we had playoff tickets when the Canucks made it fairly far yeah, along in the playoffs. Not too far. And that was a lot of fun but... Did we buy the playoff tickets? Yes, we bought we the playoff tickets. Yeah. yeah. And then promptly didn't. Well... And gave them up because it was like... Well, yeah. we... Yeah, we gave up the season just, tickets because they we were... Did, we don't watch it. No. To make it worthwhile. And it was very expensive. Yeah, so we had to yeah. keep selling them to if, people. If they were more reasonable in price, then maybe we would have kept them. But yeah. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but it was fun. It was. Yeah. But about the same amount of fun as going to the Olympics. Expensive but fun yes. for a bit. Yes. I wouldn't want to do it all the time. That was fun. The Olympics. The Olympics right yeah, we went to see a couple things. What did we see? We saw uh, women's hockey. and men's hockey. Yeah. And then I well, that's what Not you Canadian. saw. And then I actually got a chance to sit in for the dress well, rehearsal of the opening ceremonies because a uh, friend of mine's dad was a volunteer. D. Oh, cool. Uh, he was a volunteer, and so he got tickets to the dress rehearsal, and he couldn't go, so I went with my friend. So we got to see everything except for that uh, stupid uh, Olympic cauldron because they did not want to show it at the dress rehearsal, which of <laughs> or course... Or practice it. Or practice it, which is hilarious because maybe if they had done that, it wouldn't have failed yes. so spectacularly on the actual day. Did the arms go up? No, 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 there were no arms in the dress rehearsal. Oh, they didn't do any they of it. They didn't do any of it because they didn't want to, I guess, give it, give it away, even to the volunteers, oh. which in the end, I think, was a tremendous mistake because they yes. probably never got to practice it nope. 
or to make sure in, the mechanics in, work. Yeah. Well, you would think they, they didn't. You would think they test the mechanics, but yeah, just so make that them was move kind of down, hilarious. But they didn't. Um, yeah, not a very good job there. But the actual dress rehearsal was very, very cool. So that's see. what the Vancouver Olympics yeah. was known for: yeah. messing up the opening Ma ceremony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, don't come back, please. Oh, the Olympics? <laughs> yes. It was a big mess. It was well, okay, but... We got, um, we got one, uh, an extra, um, transit line out of it, so I can't well, complain about this too much. Um, because for the longest time we didn't, line. we didn't have a subway line from the airport <laughs> to downtown. Pathetic. And they built it for the Olympics, so... Yes, we um, use it all. So that the time actually now. was a huge benefit, I think. And, yes. Uh, a. Um, a. D very F nice. A. F D A. F D A. So far. Federal. F D A. What is the F D A? Food drug. Food, food and drug administration. Food and, food and drug administration. I'm not sure that's what they were going no, for. No, I don't know if that was either. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Get out of here. Whoa, that was cool. An easy way to remember what they, what they were once we get to the regions. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Lots of little things. There's so much on the screen. He is an expert programmer. And not having any... Not that the 2600 has slowdown. Because it can't really have slowdown because it is constantly drawing and thinking. Any uh, comments about our hockey prowess? Hockey knowledge prowess? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, Arena Foot was just saying um, it was the Jets versus the oh. Gold, Golden Knights. It was. Uh, the Las Today? Vegas. No, um, oh, okay. it, it is the finals. I, I, how terrible is that? I don't know that. Um, yeah, Las Vegas is up two games to one. Uh, okay. And so they won 4-2 tonight. I know they played in Winnipeg because uh, one of my colleagues at work was in Winnipeg for work. Oh. And she had to get a last-minute flight to Winnipeg for Monday night, I think. Um, Monday or Tuesday. What day is it? Wednesday. Yeah, Monday night. And she said it was just, it was insane in Winnipeg because they must have had been playing a game there. So, um, yeah. No, no. Not that um, we couldn't continue from there. <laughs> yeah, so it, she said it was just, it was packed with people in the bag, so. Mm, okay. Um, it's terrible, yeah. yeah. Oh, and when I had the camera, when it was focusing crazy, I had it on the wrong setting. I had it on picture mode instead of video mode. It was going, oh, doo -doo 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 really? every two seconds, like two episodes ago. Oh, really? And I didn't understand why it's, it was doing this all of a sudden. It's like, what is wrong? Why is it not focusing well? And now it's focusing great, and I can put this right up to the camera, and oh. you can see it and everything. Picture yeah. mode, that's very cool. Like photo, photo mode, one of the photo no, modes. No, but, but why would it be in photo mode if it's taking video? Because I'm just taking HDMI out. I'm not actually filming anything on the camera. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm just saying. taking a video out from it. I didn't even know you could do that. It just goes to show you. Yeah. That you could just plug in the HDMI and it just automatically just streams. I guess it's for when you want to show photos to people, right? I, yeah, I guess that's so true. It has to so it's just showing what it's, it's just showing what it's seeing. Seeing. Yeah, at any given time. Mm. Or you can use it as like um, while you're taking photos, like a remote um, screen. So I have a silly question. Yes. It's a video related question. I know a uh, bit about video. Um, uh, so why wouldn't you do this and record it at, on a computer? Because you know how sometimes you record video onto a card? Yes. Why wouldn't you do it like this and, and plug it into a, a computer and record it on the computer? So it's just not stopping every 10 minutes. Well, the way, when you have that thing plugged into it, it doesn't stop every 10 minutes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When we're doing other things. When we're filming other things. Oh, well, that is a good question. <laughs> Um, uh, it relates to quality. I guess that's true. Um, Sorry. Um, it records... I don't have the... One, one thing, it doesn't output as high of a quality as it records. Okay. In this camera. Um, a lot of expensive cameras do. 
actually output really, really high quality, um, like uh, with really good um, bit depth. Um, and people actually record that way. They have an external recorder. Mm. And now it's N. F D A N. Um, but this one does not output high quality. And I don't have a high quality recorder. And the thing I'm plugged into right now, I would not say is worthy of doing. Like, it's not that. Mm. It's, it's not going to record something at a high maybe, enough quality for you to edit does. it. And look at. Maybe? Yeah. I've never really thought about that. It, only because it doesn't output high quality. Yes. So it's, the, the question is, it's not even raised. It doesn't high, output the high quality. Okay. But if it did, maybe the thing I have recording would, would, this. Would record it But even then, I don't think so, because it doesn't have the bit depth mm -hmm. to do it. Not that this camera really records at a high bit depth. Just, uh, yeah, just, I was it's a just, consumer I was camera. Just, I was just curious. Yep, a very good question. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah. So I do other projects other than this for video. Oh, come on. F D A N, and then there's uh, like an M. There was an M there somewhere. Yeah. And then there's a couple other things, but it's gonna repeat if it does the same. If it uses the same code. It should repeat the last six. Mm. So we should recognize, definitely recognize the last six. Mm. I don't know what level we're on now. Shows how many lives left, which are more important. Than what level we're on. Uh, probably around there. What? There we go. This one. Let's see that. Let's go this level and find out. Level we're on. Level 12. And this is a C. Spell. Sure it spells out something. F D C A M. They're moving pretty fast, though. They are. That, is, that speed yeah, is there. definitely increased. And level 12 is kicks into high gear each time. Yeah. Oh, there's two more. Mm -hmm. oh, they're really close to each other. That's why. There were three. Looks like three. Any comments, or is everybody watching the hockey game and having this on in the background? <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. It's fine. As long as we're in your lives somehow. <laughs> you don't have to say it. You don't have to say anything. Just be there for us. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. I think we were in... Yeah, I was in oh, red alert. You're That's in red what alert I mode. didn't hear it. I was talking. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Super 3D Portal 6. What a crazy name. But they have to make it so different. <laughs> from the original name so they wouldn't get in trouble. And it's not 3D. It's 2D. So it's kind of ironic. Um, yeah, because I barely played it because it's really awkward because you need two joysticks to do it. Maybe it works with paddles? I'll have to read up a little bit beforehand. Because paddles... No, because you have to position it. You can't position things with paddles. Because there's placement and direction direction and movement. Oh my gosh. Uh, having such a hard time lining myself up with that guy. The fan vibrates its way over. Turns itself around. This side, and keep it going this way. Getting driven away, huh? It's 
Horrible. Last Alar, alar. It sounds like somebody like threw Get a mask. Alar, alar. <laughs> yeah. Covering their mouth. But totally. Oh, you ran into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. It's that D again. Yeah, this is a repeat. Is it? Yeah, this is From one. this sector or from another sector? Uh, this one. It's like level one. It's the first level. Uh, let's give it one more. Pretty sure it's level one. What? Repeat it over again. Oh, maybe. So maybe we're at the end? See, sector 13. It's not repeat. I didn't restart it, but um, no. I think we might be at the la last. We'll do one more sure. level to make sure. It's as easy as level one, because all the difficulty is ramped up. He does have a post in his blog about how the difficulty works. And I think it's the number of ships on the screen at a time. Or how fast the the patrols come out to get you as well. How frequent. Yeah. Uh, and also how frequent the bases shoot off their uh, missiles as well. In the earlier ones, they, oh, yeah, they do they it take very a very long time. Oh, caught the corner. One more left to do for you. Surprised that that was done just using the uh, Tia chip, oh and gosh. not DPC plus for the music, because nothing's happening on the screen. Nobody's moving. But hey, if you can do it, why not? Yes, you can't even get close. Oh, oh. Ah, what was that? Wow, all three coming. <laughs> That coming from mean. different angles, yeah. <laughs> that was planned. They radioed ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay, you come to the bottom, oh, I'll come from the top, gosh. you come from the side. Terrible. And go! It's just only one more base to get. I know, that's why it's so hard. Oh, my thumb. Okay, <laughs> serious. My thumb. <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't look bad. It hurts. But it hurts. Oh, man. How many more levels do we have to go? <laughs> Uh, after this, 16. 16? Yes. Oh. Of the fan made ones. Or the contest. Contest ones. No, no. Yeah. Of all the levels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 16 total. There we go. Okay. J. Mm -hmm. That's a new one. Okay, so. Is it J? We haven't done J before. I don't think we've done J, no. So we aren't into the repeats yet. No. So it might be 60. Get you. No, come back. Bounce back. Nope. Oh, you might have gotten it. Mm, maybe. No, it didn't go to red alert, so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So Atari's. Atari's here. Oh, here comes the black and white cat. Just keep him off the equipment. Yeah, and he has to be kicked out if he goes on the I know, I know. I'll keep him. Because he likes to walk on the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> and then things go wrong. He had he had a channel muted. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh, that Or he had a solo. He had a... Oh, we've seen this one. Have we? Well, oh, the uterus. <laughs> 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 Is it the same thing? The same? <laughs> yes. Same pattern. <laughs> Don't step on the... <laughs> okay, he's gonna step on the screen as well. He's distracting me. Yes, you. <laughs> You're distracting me. That was very cute. 
<laughs> you you see, he just gave you a little blinky happy face. Hi, yes, Hi, I'm yes. here to distract you from your game <laughs> and chew on the band-aid. Luckily, it's not a used, in quotes, band-aid. I barely put it on my thumb. No blood on it. It's okay, you can chew it. Don't need it. Oh. Maybe, maybe Jay was in the original? I really don't remember Jay. I don't remember Jay. the Jay. No. This one I do remember. I think yes. this is the repeat point. has a piece of paper from the band-aid that Pixel gave him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do play a game, these two. One drops things off one, ledges. One uh, Pixel likes to get on ledges and knock things off, and then Atari picks it up in his mouth and runs away with it. And they That's actually right. have it coordinated. <laughs> Hi. That's right. Hi, sir. Don't press the... Yep. Are, we, are we playing 15? Or are we starting the next sector? Nope. We don't know if it's repeating that, because we had a J. Yeah, but we had the uterus. Yeah, but <laughs> we had that J in between one that I had seen before. So if, if it is another repeat after this, yes, we will move on. We done. We have good. There we go. There we go. Real good. Oh, you can see a tail here. <laughs> It's, if you just slightly go off screen, it won't get it, right? So Yes, resets. Oh, you mean your bullets won't get it? Yeah, no. It, the edge of the screen is both your friend and your enemy. Boo! <laughs> your friend, in fact, that they can't get you, and your enemy, in the fact that you can't get them. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. Rub. Rub, rub. Okay. Yep. Yep. Two more to get on this level. Definitely a marathon game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if Anguna would have been any shorter. Oh, I killed it. Didn't even... Just came on the screen and died. Must have been one of the last and edges, of, edges it, yeah. of it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you so distracting cat? Very distracting cat. He's very good at that, but he's behaving for the most part. He's yeah. just kind of hanging around. Yeah, give him some time. <laughs> it's well before feeding time. So. That's true. Oh. If it was feeding time, he'd be, he'd be trouble. He'd be in our face. Yeah. Hello. Oh my god. Terrible. Damn terrible. Oh yeah. Life's hard. Life's hard as a cat, right? Okay, that's distracting. Okay. Sector 16 is a repeat. It's an M. Okay, we're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Officially moving on. Re okay, next. To the ep uh, de epsilon? Delta. Delta. We have what? Gamma, Delta. Are we doing Delta and Epsilon? No, Epsilon is all these that we've already done. Why, why is there a repeat? Epsilon is... The continuous cycle? Is just random levels. Oh, I see. Delta is all, right. all the contest winners. Oh, cool. Okay. 12. There we go. Will it continue? Yes. yes sure. Alright, sector one. Sector one of the last 
or level one? Sector one of the last quadrant. Oh! I think this is one of them that you have to Hit every ship angle. away at. Yeah, it's a flashy, flashy thing. Oh. Super flashy. There's only four dots, but I think the person used up all the spots. All the bases, but just overlapped a lot of them. This is definitely one you have to do. However, I've noticed it doesn't shoot. Oh, because it's trapped itself. Yeah. Probably shoots it shoots its own missiles. Yep. Which is a good bonus. Mm -hmm. oh, where am I going? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Love you. <laughs> Love you. So giving you kisses. Yeah, kind of. Oh, another mega base. Uh, I think they're all megas. No, but they can't shoot at me. Well, they can shoot those little things, though. Which oh, are, yeah. Which are true. very annoying. They are very annoying, but they are slow moving. Oh, I got too close. I didn't give myself enough room. Let's go over here. So I think you have eight. Eight base. They have eight bases total to put in the map. So I think it's just two on top of each other. Just facing in opposite directions so that they can't shoot past themselves. So each of these is two on top of each other. That makes sense. So, yeah, it's good, good design. Makes it very challenging and very different from every other level. So Ugh. Now, there were restrictions on how many... You, you couldn't put three on top of each other, I think. There were certain restrictions he gave in the guidelines for making the maps. Or too close together, or two in a row, or too many on the screen at the same time. I can't remember now. It was like half a year ago, or a year ago. Did have the contest? Oh, you can open up one. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, you killed one. You yeah. just have to hit the other one. There you go. One more mega base to go. Well, also on your radar, you can see where the uh, yeah the leader, is. the squad leader, yeah. yeah. And on the right hand side, it shows you what, what formation they're in. Yes, kind of helps. Yeah, a little. You know what yeah. what's coming at you. Yeah. Sector, Sector two. two. So this is the person in second place. I think I did a better, better Atari logo than this guy. This is not mine. <laughs> <laughs> mine had more of a like a curve to, to it. it? More of a swoop, kind of, on the bottom, rather than this straightness. But you did a good job. <laughs> he got second place. He won over the crowds. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Side. Oh. Oh. There you go. You go to continue. Oh, I just told you. No, I didn't hit continue. I thought I was clicking oh, to the main screen. Okay, well, go back. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> sector two. We're not. It's not too bad. Oh yeah. Did you finish <laughs> it though? No. I got okay. two or three. No, I, I thought I was clicking it to the main screen, but then it just automatically yes. hits. Uh, well, the buttons don't search. advance. You it in doesn't. This game. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. It's, it's just so automatic to, to think that. Yeah. Did, 
the DK Arcade 2600? Who knows? That does advance when you press the button. Some games do. And um, since playing the DK Arcade last Friday, yeah. um, the programmer has started working on the game again. Kind of Kickstarted them into motion, which was kind of nice. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I guess, oh, here's a bunch of things that. Uh, oh, little I issues showed. here yeah, and there. Here and <laughs> yeah, there yeah. Or, or made them excited again for it, which is which is cool. Yeah. yeah. The DK looking. was the, some yeah they are, it, it's amazing the um, some of the. <sighs> the differences between the versions so mm -hmm. yeah so i'm looking forward to playing that again when he releases uh i guess a release candidate version of it or when he puts it on cartridge possibly pending uh any issues <laughs> with certain companies Left. Like it when you move <laughs> On the earlier levels? Yeah. yeah. Nice and slow. Where you can now run them? I think you're faster. You can, I, yeah, right or you're very close to that running them. Yeah. Like you're either equal to or. Oh, oh, oh. too many. Too many squished in the spot. <laughs> yeah, everybody's watching hockey or something. Nobody's <laughs> <laughs> set up. Set That's up okay. Heat. That's fine. Well, you know, we have been on the air for like over two hours now, so. Yeah, two and a half. I, I don't believe anyone. Yeah. Alright, and free life. Ah, good stuff. Go straight to the right. Oh. Oh, no, protected. No, it was not protected. It is initially when they first start up, I thought. Oh, they're closed off? Yeah. Yeah, they're like, they're like in a shutdown kind of mode. Oh, I didn't even notice. I think this one's fine. Is it? Yeah. What was it? I can't. I didn't look quick enough. I think it was just a pattern. It wasn't uh, like. I think it was called bases and outposts. Can't remember. It's on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh, funny. Look at that glitchy what? top left. Oh. Or is it just a coincidental star pattern? No, no I don't no. think so. No, no, no. You think that was a glitch? I think it was just was too many glitch. stars in a row. No, it, it was happened. a big straight line of stars. Unless they're doing patterns in the background there. Uh, it could have been either. Because, um... I think the stars are pretty random. And it just happened to be a whole ton in a row. Yeah. Oh, oh, there oh, it there is! there they are! Yeah, they're back! No, it is, uh, it is a glitch. a glitch, yeah. I'm gonna fly over to that glitch. I don't know, can you? Yes. Can. Interesting. That is interesting. I wonder if that's always on this level. Come on, there we go. Sector, Sector four. It's like a little. <laughs> Cute little pattern. Probably some doubling up of really close ones makes it really protected. Just a lot to contend with. All at once. Probably the whole internet can too. Go ah. Got a free life though. Go down. Much faster. <laughs> Terrible. 
So, for those of you or who are just tuned in, we're following. We are on the last quadrant. Yeah, last quadrant. The Delta Quadrant. The Delta Quadrant. They were fan submitted. <laughs> Is this one mine? I think this one's mine. This guy? Yeah. Because I got four of mine. Put in. I think. To the, to the contest. Three winning by um, actual votes. <laughs> and one put in by Daryl. Because I sucked up to him making a, a DS or a JR. I can't remember which one made it in. We'll see. It. It's a JR. So I had more levels than anybody else <laughs> put in the game. Because it's a competition, of course. It is. <laughs> well, it actually was. It was a real competition. But I didn't get first, so I, I, didn't, I didn't win. <laughs> Oops. Okay, this one is called Bases and Outposts. Not the other one. One more to go. I can't even play my own levels. <laughs> it was very fun beta testing it and trying out your own levels and being able to put them into the game before it was released. That is cool. Oh my god. <laughs> One more to go. Sector 5 out of 16. If we ever wanted to cool down the camera, we could play fan mm, That would make that a lot of a sense, would it not? Yeah, yeah that would oh work. Oh my gosh, too many. <laughs> We'd have to mount it near the camera and balance it on something. Like you're so close, but you're just off ever so slightly. Yeah. There oh, we go. Caught it in the corner. Excellent. Sector six. six. Oh, oh it's like a like... little alien. Yeah, little alien ship. Made of alien ships. That's a good design. Oh, oh a little fragment. Oh, what are those called? Let's see what those fragments are called. Projectiles. <laughs> Just projectiles. They don't have a special name. The pods will fire a barrage of projectiles at you. Mines are Cosmo Brand Space Mines. And the asteroids are the best. You will earn points regardless of how objects are destroyed, even if the enemies accidentally take themselves out. Excellent. You get points for it. That is fun. There we go. Alright. How oh, time. Level 7. Oh, some mega. Oh, nice. Let's cross. Oh, I thought they were stacked. Cosmo trademark mine. Yes. Cosmo? TM. <laughs> Brand Space Mines. So there's somewhere in this universe there's a company called Cosmo. It's like the acme of the... Acme of the uh, draconian world. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it's mentioned anywhere else. 
in the manual. Thumb's feeling better. Good. I don't know it's gone now. why. <laughs> yes, it's, it's gone past now. that point where past the point of, uh... it's it's when you should really be worrying about it. It's when it's numb. <laughs> yeah. It's like with yeah. frostbite. It's like with frostbite. That's it's right. It's like oh my foot doesn't feel cold anymore. It's oh like, that's yeah, good. I feel no pain. Not a good sign. <laughs> that means not a good your sign. foot will be removed by a doctor later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my thumb's quite at that point. I can still feel it. <laughs> alarm, alarm. I don't think I need a remove. He lost his thumb due to Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible, it's a real condition. terrible affliction. Yeah, there needs to be PSAs made. There's somebody made a joke PSA about Nintendo thumb. Many. One to go. Alar, alar. Alar, alar. <laughs> I love it as character. Yep. There we go. Excellent. Sector eight, halfway Sector through. Sector eight. Oh. Whoa. Nice. It's like an asteroid field. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Shoot your way through the asteroid belt. That's a good design. I did not make this one. Shot him, or I ran into him. <laughs> Probably ran into him. He did get destroyed, so I got points for it. Alarm, alarm. Yay. <laughs> oh, nope, turned. <laughs> This show is going to be a big pile on my hard drive. <laughs> yes, it is. But that's okay. Got lots of space now. Moved a whole bunch of stuff on the hard drive. For just this kind of thing. All the new projects. Goodness. Mm. It's a tough one. Are they getting faster? They're just so clumped together. They shoot out a lot of enemies. And they are getting a little bit faster. It is level 8. It's not level 12 yet, but. Oh, good one. Oh, red alert! Oh no! This is not good! <laughs> this is not good! Very not good! <laughs> 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 just came on the screen and went off. I didn't see it. I did look away for a second, but... Alarm, that's alarm. the only way you can get condition mad. Yeah, it is. Oh, jeez. It's tough. I'm uh, still furious now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. alarm, alarm. Yep. I think that's the only way. 
supposed to condition red as far as I can tell. Oh my gosh. It's like by the time I get there, so <laughs> that's it. Boom. <laughs> Up is easier. Yeah, to get to that one at the bottom. Yeah. Alarm, alarm. It's all the mines are going to Most of the mines and the asteroids. I'm just kind of contending with general ships. Caught me. I like the little ease into it when you start your ship. Do you, you ever notice that? Mm. It starts off slow and then builds up to full speed. Mm -hmm. Very cool little touch. I always tell the polish on a game by the movement of your mm. character. Yeah. It's really kind of quickly made, not really thought out. Um, um, homebrews, the movements of the characters are always very jerky. Really quick, like you turn and you immediately turn. Mm. Like there's no momentum. Um, jumping is like straight up and down. It's like no, there's no arc to it, there's no gravity. Oh, not condition red. Come on. Good job. Wow. I think that's the only time we've. I think this is mine. I'm pretty sure up? this is mine. Yeah. This is my Atari. It's your Atari? My Atari oh. symbol. Boo! <laughs> It has a slight, well you can't see it anymore, but it has slight jutting out of the legs at the bottom. Rather than straight oh, out, yeah. it kind of yeah, goes yeah. out just a bit. Okay. Eight more levels to go. <laughs> then we can say we did. <laughs> Put it on our tombstone. I played every level of Draconia. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Put on a little plaque hanging on a tree. Third person beneath this tree. <laughs> Make it in burnt wood so it just kind of disintegrates. Yeah. Oh, there's, a, there's three things in a row again. I think it was just coincidence. But not coincidence know. because it was there the second time when we saw it. So somehow the stars are generated or stored or generated from patterns based on something else in the level. Maybe. That line of things we saw twice. And on the same level. And no, no other level. Come on, you. There you go. There we go. Get that spice ship. Close. Three more to go. Alarm, alarm. Oh, little floaty My things. level defeated you. Yeah. <laughs> it defeated me too. Not a band aid? Just the fabric, the, the paper. Oh, okay. Not a real cat. Yay. Yay! 
Of ten, sector ten. Looks like a constellation. Okay. All these have real names. All these levels. When people submitted them. Oh, that was not good. I'm pretty sure it's alarm. No, no, can we I got it, but yeah. I had to sacrifice myself for it. So off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, just, just my wing. getting there. Really nice design of the ships. Yeah. The number of pixels that uh, yeah. they had to work with. For that. I guess if you get every one of them <laughs> as part of the formation, you get bonus. Not that we're after score, it's just after completing it. But I did get a very, very good score at one game, mm. starting at some certain level. Does it hold on to your high, high score at all? It does. It actually does. And I remember I was reading today in the blogs yeah. about how many scores he has to keep track of. Because it keeps like scores starting from each level. One score starting from each level. One high score. So there's like tons of high scores associated with this game. Oh. I supposed to says, fun facts. I found out the tune, Have You Played Atari Today, was off. In this, I guess? The last note value was 20 and it should be 19. It was fixed by Daryl in the car. <laughs> While his parents were driving on the way to PRGE at the Grand Canyon. Wow. They made the carts at the hotel in Portland. Somebody mentioned the note should start with a C and I used D, but I just tapped it out in the keyboard and didn't research the actual notes. That's interesting. I thought the intro tune for the Atari Age intro tune was something that was supplied by Atari Age because it's in... I swear it's in a bunch of games. Is it not in a, a number of other games? I suppose that? Or am I like just thinking that this is like... I've just played this game enough that I've seen it so many times. What no! Other, what other games is it in? Hmm. But that is a very fun fact. That this game was finished in the car on the way to the place where it was first released. That is amazing. Reminds me of like the the documentary about uh, South Park, where they finish the anime. They start the show, writing the show like days before it airs. Oh yeah. And then finish the show like an hour beforehand. Like finish all the Before animation. It's released, yeah. yeah, it's like right down to the wire. Did you like die immediately on this new level? I'm on a new level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not. It's not as easy. Think there's oh. two side by side for some of them, so I did manage to get, oh. get one. It just looked like a complete level. It, it looked, it didn't look like it changed, but they were actually two side by sides. Mm, okay. These look like they're far away from each other, but in fact, they're really next, quite close to each other. When you get down here. 
Well, because from top to bottom, yeah. There's the other ones. But on the map, they look far away. Oh, look at that grouping. Oh, because oh, it's in the corners. Ah, oh, clever. Ones don't like them. No. They're not very nice. Bad, Bad pink ones. Sector 12, five more levels. Oh, you caught an Atari. Have you played with your Atari? <laughs> your Atari King. Yes. Atari Cat. Atari. Mm, not too yes. happy. Our cat's name is Atari. Mm. He's three years old. So we got him about three years ago. <laughs> He's just a kitten. Yeah. Actually, we got him in May, so yeah, he probably is almost exactly three years old. He had his birthday recently, didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. Is his birthday? Or where the day we assume this is his birthday. Yeah, nobody knows where nobody really adopted knows wild cats. Nobody really knows where little wild cat here. Please <laughs> uh, calm down. <laughs> oh, barrage of those things. I wonder what those are made out of. Probably made out of um, missiles, because they keep changing color. These missiles are the same. Whoa! What? Oh, I see. <laughs> That's a squadron. I thought it was like the bullets. Normal bullets. Like, how did he shoot five in a row? Mm hmm. Ow! So close! Yep, very, very, very close. Oh. That's what happens in the summer. Need the brushing. Oh. Oh no, I have to do this with a cat on my lap. Yep. I'm gonna stop. Oh, I'm gonna figure out what they're caught, what they're saying. Oh. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, alert! Why? Alert! Is it alert? Yeah. It sounds like alarm to me. It. I mean, it's very Close. low res <laughs> samples. Alarm! Alarm! Yeah. It sounds like alert. Alarm! Alarm! It does. It says alert! Alert! You're like, no, no, it's not what, it it's not what the game says it is. It's okay. Blast off! Alert! Alert! Battle stations, which is very clear. Spy ship sighted. No, I've never picked that out. Yeah, I picked that out. Did you have spy ship sighted? Condition red is very clear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's tough. Terrible. And you have a cat. Terrible. Yeah. Is that purr for everyone? People can see him? Oh yeah, they can. Yeah. He's purring pretty loud right now. I can't hear him, so I don't oh, know if the microphone can pick him up. We can let something like that. <laughs> says you're dirty, very mm -hmm. stinky human. You smell like human. Why don't you smell like cat? Why don't you smell like cat spit? Yeah, you do. Yes. Much better. Cat spit and cat spit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh yeah, I did. and I did too. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the top right corner and get that guy. It seems to be a little bit more isolated. Oh, and he's good, but... oh. oh, there's always something happening. That is why the game is challenging. There we go. Down, get the next one. Battle stations. Oh, I remember. 
Remember Daryl Spice? There's somebody talking about moving things in a horizontal and vertical at the same time, like in a, um, a diagonal, that because of the size of pixels on the Atari 2600, it is not a one down, one left. It's like half measures. I mean, which don't get represented on the screen, but you have to store them that way. Um, so it's not as easy as it seems to do diagonal movements on the 2600. Like on modern TVs, pixels are square. Which is good. But on uh, old TVs, they were, they were 0.9 aspect ratio. Yes. And they weren't quite square. Two TVs? Yeah. Was, they, were, yeah. they were like little rectangles. Yeah. Four by yeah. three? Yeah. Yeah, they weren't square. Plus you had three colors at the same time as well next to each other. Red, green, and blue. <laughs> go, one more down. Sector 14, three to go. Ooh, check this mark. is mine. Is it the check mark, Cyrus? Yep. I think it's called check or check mark. So, people like this one. Interesting. Pattern. Sometimes it's just like I just went for the pattern at the bottom, not for playability. Like, nice pep. Oh, did I? I thought yeah. I shot him. Uh, it's just not possible. You just can't. Maybe on a really early level that you could fly faster than you could kind of get away from condition red, but you don't want to get yourself into that position. I don't know what I don't know what I supposed to is flying to, but he says it is in it is in a oh it is in a lot, but some are way different. Some use DPC plus DPC plus. I think on Stella's stocking that contains State Frosty One. It is very different. Stella's stocking titles. Oh, the the tune. Oh, he's chewing it. Careful. Hey. Um, the Atari tune at the beginning. It's in a lot of the games, but some are very, very way different. Because some use D DPC plus. I think on Stella's stocking that contains Stay Frosty One is very different. Stella's stocking title screen and game select screen use four channel in tune accurate DPC technique music in software. Two voices on two channels. I don't think four channels has been done before or since. Ah. Also, the diagonal shaped player fire is possible because normal games don't have enough cycles to skew the object. Diagonal shaped player fire. Player fire? Three more levels. Kicking the cat out? No. Three more bases. Right for it. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, it's cooling down outside because the sun has gone down, thankfully. And I do use um, studio lights in here. They so look really nice. And that's what adds to a little bit of heat. I mean, they are LED lights, so they don't use... They don't generate a lot of heat. But they still generate a little bit of heat. Especially from the power supplies as well. And I've got the TV on, and I've got a camera on, and I've got a computer on. So it all adds up, and the computer's working fairly well. Oh, I dodged the guy really well, and then I run right in. And the computer's working fairly hard at like, usually around 50 or 60% CPU, because it's encoding real time, and streaming, and saving. It's not, and it's a six-year-old computer, a pretty good six-year-old computer, but six-year-old computer nonetheless. Oh my God. 
Now, sorry, I suppose I didn't quite understand the diagonal comment. Some things will go over my head. I haven't done enough of... N uh, not, come on, I wasn't even chasing me. Enough research on programming yet. I have picked up things here and there, but not until I actually get into actually programming that I'll understand more. And a black and white cat's here. Watching. Does it jump up on things? He's going to. You can see it in his eyes. You know I'm not looking at him. You can read his body language really well. Okay, that's fine. You can jump up there. One more. There we go. Man! Mine too? I think it's mine. Maybe not. It's too rude. It's too rude. It's too rude. It looks nice, but it's like really rude. <laughs> they're all cluttered together and they're right opposite. Oh, no, this one's. Yeah, this is the last one. This is 16. Similar. Similar. Got you. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Alarm, alarm. Uh, there we go. Between your left and other left? Yep. Yeah, nice. One more, two more to go. Yeah, two more to go, and then that is the end. Can you get him? Step on keys. Well, wow, I survived. Very much cat keys. Oh. Sorry. It's okay, that one wasn't your fault. Just too many things for the cat's fault. Oh, or yeah. fault. Playing the cat. Last base of the last level. Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this. No, this is the double. It's back to oh, the, okay. the first level. There we go. We is did that's it. it? Yep. Good job! That's it. I feel like I uh, contributed at least a minor amount <laughs> you <killed laughs> to you. <laughs> you definitely killed bases. A few. I got a few in there. So, just go back to the title screen. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. There we back go. Back to the title screen. The oh, sound right. is off anyway. They can't hear it. Good. So, thank you, everybody who, uh, let's see how many people. Yeah, all the people that still stuck around. Yeah, there thank are a few you. Of you. <laughs> For our marathon, uh, three hours and fifty, well, probably just three hours because we talked a little bit in the beginning. Three hours of Draconian, every single level, not repeats of level, but every single designed level for Draconian. Mm -hmm. So it is on video now, mm -hmm. if it, if it, nobody ever did it before. <laughs> I'm sure somebody might have, but I didn't look. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that, or at least provided you some background noise while you watched the NHL game. <laughs> yeah. Um, excellent game, as I reviewed it before. Not reviewed, but we played it before. Um, and given it's the first time I've played it, I really enjoyed it. Yeah? So, yeah. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see picking that game up and just playing it on my own. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's lots of variety, um, especially if you set it to the Epsilon Quadrant. Now that you've played every level, it'll just be a random Yeah, that's level nice. Yeah. Picked out. Um, and there is even a harder than that oh yeah no that was hard <laughs> enough normal yes. was hard enough i'd actually like to try kids level <laughs> it's yeah that would make it a lot easier yeah it just ramps up slower if i remember reading mm. it correctly yeah um yeah it's definitely a must buy like top five mm. atari 2600 homebrew just because of all the advanced stuff it has it in was, it. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Just the expanse of levels that it has in it, the, the voices, the number of ships on the screen, mm -hmm. the replayability of it. It's just amazing all around. And you're pretty much guaranteed that every time with anything that said Spiceware on it. Yeah. Like Stay Frosty 2 is amazing. Um, his Asteroids game I don't have. I do have to pick that up. Uh, Stay Frosty 1 as well. Uh, Medieval Mayhem, uh, a four-player game that's modeled after... Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it, uh, the original one. But that one's amazing as well for a multiplayer game. Oh, the yawns. I am yawning, sorry. 
<laughs> but we played for a while staring yep. at a screen. Yeah. Long day. Yes, we did <laughs> Long it. Long day. Um, Arena Foot says, yeah, you did it. Yay. And I supposed to says, Y-E-A, in a bubble. It's like kind of a little, little icon Yay. thing. I didn't know you could do that in here. Very cool. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Um, so tune in on Friday where we will be playing, uh, I've lost it, uh, a VCS Tech Challenge, uh, Princess Rescue, not on cartridge because I don't have it. I wish I did. And Super 3D Portal 6, which I'm really looking forward to. That sounds like fun. It should be at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Maybe it'll be off that time. I'm not sure. I have to check with Darcy. He should be here. He's every two weeks. Yeah, and he was he here two weeks here. ago. Yeah. So he should be joining us again. Um, so thank you very much. And that's it from Zero Page Homebrew. So check out our Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. It's all there and existing, and you can say hi to me all in all those places. <laughs> or in the Atari Age forums, uh, I have a thread in the homebrew, and I'll post the link to this YouTube when it's up, maybe tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Yeah, have a good evening. Bye-bye, everyone. See you soon.